Scout, tunaomba ya kwamba mwili huo utolewe hapo ili uweze kuletwa hapa. Bandi mtaendelea na hiyo tune. familia mtaandamana na mwili huo unapoegezwa mali hapa Captain Pamela Baba wetu Mungu wetu wa mbinguni tunakuinua ni kwa sababu ya gwaride ambayo tumekuwa nayo tukaondoa mabaki ya solo katika mji wao na tumefika mahali ambapo tumeandaa mkutano wa siku ya leo twakuomba Jehovu ukazingire kiwanja hiki kila mmoja Jehovu ukamtie nguvu ukaendelea kuwa mfariji wetu ni asanda ni kwa sababu tasimama nasi katika siku hii ya leo Takapoona ya kwamba tumemmsindikisha na kumlaza vyema mpendwa wetu sifa na utukufu za kurudia visirana miinuko ya shetani katika ibada ya shujaa na ikapate kushindwa kwa Kristo aliye bwana Amen Bandu watatuongoza katika slow march tukienda katika sehemu ya ibada Itaomba Homelik lete familia hapa tuandamane pamoja Baba na mama hapa wengine zuma Calvary, Calvary, Utukuz. 
Tuzwe kwangu Hata roho hipate Rahu kongambu Mwili unaruhusiwa kufunguliwa hadi wakati tutakapowaambia ufunikwe maana bado kuna wapendwa ambao watapata nafasi na kuja kutazama mwili wa solo Malize mwendo salama Bwana niongoze Tuka hapa kwa sababu ya ibada takatifu Tutabaki tukismama Tunaimba wimbo number 226 Baada ya kuimba uo wimbo Meja Fili Solita Atatufungulia ibada yetu kwa maombi Sisi tunakasa muendo Tunakasa muendo ili tufike binguni Bwani yesu asifiwe Band Tuongoze Tuahu Shindo ni 
Haleluya. Kifungu cha tatu kinasema, pengine tu mashakani, pengine tu kifoni. Yote yana pamoja yana nini? Ni kwema mbeleni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Licha ya changamoto za maisha tunajua ya kwamba ni kwema me mbeleni. Tutaimba kifungu cha tano. Na tufika polikoni. Mala kawita kone. Badaya tu fani ni kwe mambele ni Katika hali hiyo wacha tuamini na tuombe Mwenyezi mungu baba wetu mtunzi na mtawala wa vitu vyote Tuna kueshimu asubui ya leo Kwa umbali huu umetuleta wewe ni ebeneza Tuna kukaribisha e buwana wa majeshi katika ibada hii Tukiomba ya kwamba iwapo kuna njia iwa yote mfalme tumekuwazi. Tuna kuomba ukaweze kutusamehe ili ukasikie maombi yetu ni kwa ajili ya nafsi zetu. Ibada hii ulipanga tangu mwanzo ulipo umba ulimwengu huu. Ya kwamba bwana wa majeshi katika udogo wa mtoto wetu. Ukaona ya kwamba siku ya leo atafanya kanisa lako. Tuna kukaribishe ukachukue usukani sasa. Baba tunakukaribisha ya kwamba ukatuelimishe. Baba ukaweze kutuchonga. Na tukiomba ya kwamba Jehova shuka na mishipi yako takatifu na ukaweze kufariji jamii. Fariji kanisa la kijana wetu. Fariji e bwana wa majeshi shule laki. Na fariji kila moja amba amekuja katika maombolezi haya. Kwa mana tunajua kama mwanadamu wakati mwingine tunaona ni magumu. Lakini katika kila jambo neno lako linatufundisha ya kwamba tukakaweze kukushukuru. Kwa hivyo tunakuomba ya kwamba ukaweze kuchukua usukani. Ukafunge Jehova wazazi wake na mishipi ya kwa takatifu. Ukaweze kuwafuta machozi. Ukawe mwalimu wakipekee katika siku ya leo. Tunataka tuku kata kila aina ya mbinu ya muovu shetani. Atakaye weza kuingia katika njia iwaye yote. E Jehova tunachukua mamlaka hivi sasa tukimkataa katika jina la Yesu na kaweze kushindwa. Jehova tunajua yeye ni muongo. Anatuweke a stress Jehova. Tunamwamrisha hivi sasa katika jina la Yesu na kaweze kushindwa. E Jehova chilia Roho Mtakatifu ambaye ni mwalimu mkuu akatufundishi akatuinue baba katutie faraja zinazotoka kwako tutataka kuinua mjumbe mikononi mwako ulipanga tanena na kanisa hili jehova ukaweze kumwanoint once more tukaona ya kwamba tunainuliwa tukitoka tumefarijika tukitoka tumebadilika na tumesema kwa heri kwa muovu shetani na baba tutasema ni asante asante kwa sababu ya kiongozi Ukamtawale jinzu upendavyo. Baba tutakapoona mwisho mwema tutasema ni asante. Chukua usukani kwa ajili ya safari ya kila mmoja. Wanaotumia vyombo vilivyo umbwa na mwanadamu. Wanasema wakafike katika ibada hii. Ukawape safari liyo njema. Baba wote ambao tumefika vyema tutasema ni asante. Chukua nafasi yako baba. Achilia roo yako Jehova. Chukua nusukani mungu wetu. Tamalaki mawazo na moyo wa kila mmoja. Tukaweze kuona Jehova umetenda na tutasema ni asante. Pokea sifa zote ni zako. Tunakuwe shimu na tunalimidi jina lako. Kwa mana ni jina lililo kuu. Tunapoliita unatenda mema. Sante baba kwa sababu unatenda. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye mkombozu wetu. Amen.
Tunashukuru kwa sababu ya maombi tumshangilie Mungu kwa sababu ya maombi asubuhi ya leo tumshangilie Mungu ametuamsha Before ni hand over to the co officer nataka kutoa tangazo Tafadhali tunaomba utulivu no maongezi katika tents utapewa kuongea lakini katika tents tutulie tumpatie solo heshima yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe karibu captain Ibada yake Solomon inaanza sasa na vile niliweza kutoa tangazo jana ni ya kwamba saa sita na dakika arobaini na tano tungelipenda tuwe tumemaliza kazi yake askari kijana wetu programa nataka tuende na wewe tukienda kienda vizuri na mimi tutaenda na wewe na ukienda kando I'll take over the program na nitafanya ile kazi ambayo ninastahili kufanya hapa siku ya leo. Boma hili lina wageni wengi. Wengine wako njiani wanakuja. Not everybody will speak. Mnapangana mkiwa wengi tuwe na mmoja wawili wa kusema jambo to represent the rest. Ili kanisa lipate nafasi ya kufanya kazi ya askari kijana Solomon Emwene kwa njia iliyo nzuri. Napenda niulize praise and worship team wasimame pale. Maana Solomon amekuwa kiingia katika Sunday school na Solomon kwa sadaka yake pale kwa Sunday school jinsi alipewa na wazazi wake imefanya hata tukanunua vyombo vya kuweza kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu haswa hivi karibuni wakati ambapo tumepata keyboard ambayo tunataka sasa tushukuru Mungu kwa kazi yake Solomon tunapo e, mtayarisha programa kuchukua nafasi na kuendelea. Mngelikuwa mmefika hapa tayari. Na nitawaomba sisi sote tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Tunataka tumsifu Mungu. We want to praise. We are praising but not worshiping. Praise. Tumesema ya kwamba Solomon alikuwa kanisani. Kumaanisha ya kwamba Solomon amelala tu tutakutana na yeye. Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Amen. Tayanje, Yesu tayanje.
Sula kofi mazu Shangwa na vigena gele kwa yesu Kwa yesu Kwa na hulanda Asante sana kikundi cha praise and worship kwa hivyo ibada ya mwene ninaenda kuanza sasa rasmi Aa, kwa hivyo tayari tulipoanza tulipewa masharti ya kufuata ili ibada ikafika saa sita na ningeomba wanenaji kwa sababu hatutaki, hatutaki kusumbua watu wa picha hapa ingekuwa vyema uje hapa mbele kwa sababu pia iko streamed live kwa hivyo naomba wanenaji tutakuja hapa mbele. Akutuanzishia tutaka tunataka atakaye tufungulia ama atakaye tualika katika boma hili. Na wawe karibu. Eh. Utakapoitwa tafadhali usiwe mbali. Ah tutakuwa na Samson Ejakait na Geoffrey muwe tayari. Alafu tutakuwa na Mzo Sangiri utakuwa tayari tutakuwa na nyanyake kutoka kule Kakoli na Mama Miriam kuwa tayari Peter na Rogers mtakuwa tayari Priska na Rufus mtakuwa tayari upande wa cousins mtakuwa na Brian tarisha kikosi chako kisha wengine nitawajulisha baadaye kwa wakati huu ningependa kumkaribisha Samson ili atukaribisha hapa rasmi kisha atamwalika uh, mwenzake pia Uh, kanisa letu takatifu uh, majirani walimu viongozi wetu uh, kwa niaba ya familia ya Jeremia Amke na Slesa ningependa kuwakaribisha kwa kusherehekea safari ya mwisho ya mtoto wetu so, so ningependa tu tukue na nidhamu tuweze kutulia ili program yetu iweze kwenda vizuri. Kwa hiyo machache ningependa kukaribisha mwanzangu Geoffrey dakika moja tu. Asante sana. Kanisa takatifu la Salvation Army Kolanya waliofika hapa kuomboleza pamoja nasi vijana, watoto wote. Karibu sana. Hapa ni nyumbani kwa mzee Marem Itela. Madam na Jeremia tumeishi na wao kama wa ndugu. Uh, Solomon alikuwa kijana wetu. Mara kwa mara ungempata Solomon ako kwa mamangu. Solomon 
command and advise others kwa mchotia mamangu maji watenye kuni hata juzi nilipokuja hapa nyumbani tarehe 27 yeye akiniona nimekuja tu hata kama ako na madamu pale lazima aje anisalimie mtoto wa nyota na Mungu alikuwa amempenda karibu sana feel at home wangu ni pale kakale kakibanda ka green kwa ndugu wangu mkubwa Abel ni pale hapa ni kwa mama Joyce Itela na wakaribisha nyote kwa hii ibada wa kijana wetu mpendwa Solomon na Mungu atawabariki sisi zote ibada itaisha na heshima za Solomon Mungu awabariki amen Asante kwa ukarimu ya familia Itela Unajua sio rahisi kwa kawaida jirani kutoa uwanja wake mzima ili iwe sherehe kama hii. Mwingine angesema hapa itawezekana. Lakini hiyo ni heshima kubwa sana sisi kama familia tunasema asante. Wakati huu kwa sababu Solomon hapa katika familia Ikaruok ako katika fourth generation. Kwa hivyo hapa kuna bab, babu mkuu, great grandparent ambaye atasema machache kisha watambulishe tu wengine. Um kanisa la jeshi la ukofu uh, walimu wanyamfika hapa siku ya leo mheshimiwa waziri na mheshimiwa wote wenye wako hapa na wenye watakuja eh, tujiani uh, mimi kwa majina naitwa wikili posangiri Um, ni mzee wa Karuoko vile vile ndugu ya mzee marehemu John Luther ambaye ndio mwenye boma hii na mimi ningependa kwanza kueleza kijana yangu na msichana wangu pole maneno ambayo yametokea kuhusu kijana huyu wetu mtoto huyu huyu ni mjukuu wetu ambayo sisi tulimpenda sana hata nyinyi mnaokuwa hapo mmekaa mnaona dalili katika ulimwengu majishi ya mfalme uonekana mnaona all signs ya hiyo majishi ya mfalme kumaanisha mtoto huyu alikuwa anaelekea mahali vizuri kule mbele lakini kwa ajili ya yale yametokea e, tunaweza kubali mwito wa afi, afisa wetu kwamba e, ni mpango wa Mungu so sisi tunamkubalia tunamwachilia hata kama kwa chungu sana lakini tumewezesha kumweka kwake Kristo. E, kabla sijaendelea kuna wazee wa Karuoko wenye wanahita huyu mjukuu wao ningependa wako kule nyuma wakuje huku mbele naomba captain au ndio wenye boma waje tu mmoja Ebron ndiye anayesalamia watu. Hapa hata kabla mama yake haja kuona yeye amekufikia na ako na furaha vile mnaona tu kwa hii picha e, kucheka na furaha ndio ilikuwa tabia yake so huyu alikuwa e, e, waziri alikuwa peane button kwake ye pia angekuwa waziri next so tunashukuru but kwa hali ambayo ilitokea em, wacha tuseme tumwachie Mungu e, hapa wazee wa Karuoko wamefika e, time limit tumepewa so mi naomba kuanzia hapa mzee Brown atasalamia watu e, jina 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 alafu Jina ni Julius Mwen, babu wa Solomon. Dan Mamai Oyakapel ni babu 
hapa tu nyumbani jirani asante joseph oskuku ishapai babu ya solomon simon ajakapel babu namba 2 kwa solomon Icha ni mama sai kutoka Kemer babu ya Solomon Samuel Parasi eh, babu ya Solomon Mimi ni mgoria sio mkari wako lakini mama yangu ndio natoka kwa ikari wako Mimi ni na pongeza sana kupata nafasi Ah uh, Dick Bramwell Dewa Mimi ni babu ya Solomon na mimi ndio tumekaribisha kijana yetu Jeremia ya kukana sisi hapa hii ni shamba ya ukali Mungu awabariki sana Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya Jasper Imwene eh, Luta ni mjukuu wangu Solomon ni eh, kitu kuu kwa hivyo sio mjukuu wangu ni kitukuu wetu na Mungu aelekeze njia zake mbinguni William Mamai Solomon mjutuku Kanisa ombelezaji wote wa mjambo kwa hivyo kwa majina kwanza mimi Abel Hidachi na nikisonga kidogo eh, Jeremia ananiita babu na huyu mwenye amelala Solomon ni mtuku kwa hivyo emuria eh golia sasa yeye ndiye amekuwa emuria kanisa loko mbele waombolezaji wote wa mjamboni bwana Yesu asifiwe ni mpango wa Mungu mwenyewe atuwezi tukala umu naitwa Bramwell Oyakapel Masai kutoka Kakemer ndugu wa Luta Kanisa Wageni wa Solo wamekuja kushuhudia siku ya Solo ya mwisho wasasu wa marehemu wa mbalesaji langu kwanza ni salamu hamjambo hamjambo tena mimi kwa majina naitwa Hesro Nojakapeli mimi ni mmoja wapo wa katika familia hii langu kwanza sisi kama wase tumekuja kutoa risala zetu za mwisho kukitikuu wetu la pili sisi kama uko wa ikaru wako nafikiri tumempoteza saidi saidi hata kuliko kwa sababu tulikuwa tukitarajia huyu mtoto ange angeingia katika nafasi zetu ya wase kwa hivyo sisi wase ndio waadhirika saidi kwa sababu mri wetu umeelekea tuko kingoni tulikuwa tukifurahia yu mtoto angeingia kwa nafasi zetu najua kifo cha wewe mzee yuni wewe mtoto siwezi kusema kama mzee wa familia ni machungu na muombea kijana na msichana mkatulie wacha tuombe Mungu aturudishie kwa njia nyingine solo mwingine kwa hivyo hakuna mengi kwa sababu ni machungu ni machungu kwa sisi wote kanisa asanta sana kwa sababu umesimama na familia tangu juzi mpaka kufikia leo walimu pole sana kumpoteza mwanafunzi wala alikuwa chipukisi pengine matarajio katika masomo pole sana wanafunzi potesa mwenzenu wale pengine alikuwa mkichangamukiwa katika mchezo katika masomo langu tu 
nasema Mwenyezi Mungu bado tunasidi kutuomba katurudishie sisi solo mwingine asanteni asanteni wazee kwa kudumisha hiyo wa time time mekip vizuri so langu um, ni kusema tu uh, kwa niaba ya hao wazee tunawakaribisha kwa hii mji wa mzuta mkwe mujisikie muko nyumbani na eh, watu wa boma abalango ebuti peyo ke puak so mamona ke deona ko cholongo naite e just peyo ko ne ebe ko te ngaje mechukua muda mrefu kidogo lakini tunashukuru miongoni mwetu tuna MC Young Right East Ward Ingrao South Ward bwana Seme karibu tuko na mawaziri wetu wawili katika gatuzi la Busia bwana Kwenye na bwana Paul karibu tuko na mheshimiwa Dedan karibu Awakati wakati huu ningependa kumuita nyanyake kutoka Kakoli nyanya kutoka Kakoli tafadhali Lafu tungalelo muto ka wata Mare kapu ke jata tarikite ke rioka lwe gele gela Lwe tuputo nga ki mwanya solo Ki kiasa kanini ke mejasi Mamo kota dao na kolongo na ke kanis Amam nwabe kito nga kuworo nipu waka Nwangi nupungu nuidu wangi Ko jasi ka kina pakina Alafu Agwe yon kane tine msede jini. Tete asa gwe yon kane mambera konye nde ki tete tunga lube. Tete na mepuda yo. Alafe msede hamam kuta konye na chuti. Boye kwa kitoi. Epasa ki boye kwa kitoi. Kwa ikara pero togo. Epasa pero kubina ki boye kinbo kwa kitoi. E jina atituwa ne lomun kere ijori koni abaken. E alama ngwa sa pupuwa ken. Onko kwaria abi pat akain akain kain kenjelka koku ne etwani arti writing word to go se ko toma kala pata oni dwe ngul ko titinyo rosi 
Ata mo mange pak ne be kito ne jorne piakno to ma kengaren kana kasuban. Emam no be kito ne jor. E kite ker la jongo e ka joro idoko ada pak bangal makin. E ker e tiyo e ka joro e tika ne idoko e tiyo. Ki kia kan kami jiyo ka jok lomu tiyo ka makoro. Lomu tiyo ka chama siri alar ka jok siri lomu tere o ki kia kan. Mala tu kwa toka solo. E pasa ma de. Amelo mutara mse na bala kwenye na kitu kitu wange mse. Kajasi ajino wane alariki pasa mpua kipasa mka nede. Kikiasa kanini kami jaso si iki malata solo. Kikiasa kanini hemala loke siyali. E ala maza mpua kini. Asante nyanya. Kwa udo kezo. Awata ni muite nyanyake Miriam. Nanya ke solo Miriam. Kamusi nasema kiswahili lazima kifaya nini? Kikuzwe. Na ukiona kwamba kiswahili kina nini? Tukuzwa. Kwa hivyo tukae na mtukutu wetu. Okwa ichani, ichani. Mamu wanga la karabe. Inawashukuru nini wata ambayo mmekuja. Kwa jili, kwangu. Ninaona kuamba sisi wote tumevaa uniform moja. Nga waje wengine wako kwa white, wengine wako kwa brown, wengine wako kwa red. Lakini tumevaa uniform neni. Ambaye nasema sisi wote tumekuja kufanya nini? Kuomboleza. There is nobody who is very special today. We are all equal according to me. Kabla jasema chochote, mutani sameni kizungumuza hivi hivi. Ningependa ku, kuita all those who call solo, who all the grandmothers of solo. Tafadhali muje hapa chap chap. I am a very quick teacher. So mimi nita kufukuza inje. Iyo nako maika mashari Au niyonu nako shia Majina ni Nancy Oswana. Catherine Shepai. Angeli ni Mwen. Jedida Okalio. Inyele Rose. Jui Sakwale. Albina Juma. Pamela Mo. Helen Murunga. Loisa Shepet Tata. Itri Sikile. Olunga Abigail. Nele Amo, Junior Okaroni, Daktari Isapuke Caroline, Nyanya Kutoka Adanya. Teresa Achudi, Nyanya Kutoka Kakape. Miriam Semekete, Nyanya Kutoka Tamulega. Abalangu ne Papa Jeremia, Ibuyo Kwa Ajibor ni Abuki Kukino ngo 2016. Adachereki Amko Mbete Kakan. Rosemary Omanyala, msichana wa Wellington Oprong, Amagoro. Tawoi, Catherine Mzungu, nyanya kutoka Amagoro. 
Cecilia Bikeyo, Nyanya Wasolo, Kutoka Kolanya. Phyllis Amo, Caroline Ime, Rosemary Jakaiti, Nyanya Kutoka Kolanya. Mimi ni Mary Osangir, Great Grandmother Kutoka Kolanya. Major Phyllis Solita, Nyanya Kutoka Hapa Kolanya. Mimi ni Rosemary Isokat, Nyanya Waboma Mwenyewe. Okwe yalama yalama chap chap. Ehe, sasa hawa ambaye umebaki hapa, ndiyo wale wanayo tambua solo kuniliko. I don't know. I, I know solo. Ninamujua just uh, kidogo kidogo hivi. Kwa hivyo hawa ndiyo wanamutambua kunishinda. Mimi naitua Phyllis Amo. Uh, munaona vile shuja, anapo lala, munaona vile alivyo, tumeishi na eye, tumecheza na eye. Mi nataka kusema Jeremia, alikuwa kimbele mbele. Lakini solo, hata sayu kiniuliza sauti yake, siwezi kukumbuka. But a very good, charming child. Hallelujah. Mi naitua Caroline Mary. Natoka kule kakamega, solo was my mentor. Nikikuja mahali hapa kuatembelea, tunamuletea sweet. Na anacheka tu. Bwana sifiwe, bwana sifiwe. Mi naitua Juli Sowek, nyanya ya Gideon kutoka, nyanya ya Solo kutoka Bomet. Solo, siwezi kusema. Alikuwa na nikumbuka sana. Ijapokuwa tunatoka mbali, tunaenda for a long time. Lakini tukirudi, anatujua. Ukifika tu nyumbani, ye ndio wakwanza kukim, kukukimbilia. Nasema Solo was a good boy. Jeremia Nasilesa, Santeni kwa kulea Solo, kujua mungu, na waimiza, na nanyi pia mkaribie mungu zaidi na zaidi. Kitu cha ajabu, ni kwamba huyu Solo, alifatilia migu ya his great grandfather. My father John Luther, he was a scout. And my mother was a girl guide. Na kumbuka papa kituambia, walikuwa natembea kama scouts kutoka hapa paka Homer Bay. Na solo was just following those footsteps. Kumbe mtoto, ananyota yake. Tuakuze watoto katika nyota zao. Kiona nyota ya mtoto ukuze. Jeremia Asante. Endeleni hivyo hivyo. Sisi kama wanyanya wa solo, atujui vile tutamulia, tutalia tu, mkisema mungu, amweke palipema, penyana weka wengine. Nikimalizia, ataka Gideon, atusome Psalms na hiti wako. Kitabu cha Zaburi, mlango wa tisaine na moja. Aketie mahali pasiri pake alie juu ataka katika uguli wake mwenyezi. Nitasema, wana ndiye kimbilio langu na ngome langu. Mungu wangu, nitakaye mutumainia. Maana, yeye atakuokoa na mtego wa muindaji na katika tauni iharibuyo ihari kwa manyoa yake atakufunika chini ya mtu mbawa zake utapata kimbilio uaminifu wake ni ngao na kigao hata ogopa hofu ya usiku wala mshale urukao mchana wala tumaini ipitayo gizani wala uele uharibuo dhuhuri adhuhuri ijapo watu elfu waanguka ubavuni pako nam kumi elfu mkono wako wa kume Hata hivo, hauta, hauta kukaribia wewe. 
ila kwa macho yake utatazama na kuyaona malipo ya wasio haki kwa kuwa wewe bwana ndiye kimbilio langu umemfanya aliye juu kuwa makao yako mabaya hayata kupata wewe wala tauni haita ikaribia hemala yako kwa kuwa atakuagizia malaika wake zake wa kulinde katika njia zako zote mikononi mwao watakuchukua usije ukajikua mguu wako katika jiwe utawakanyaga simba na nyoka mwana simba na joka utawaseta kwa miguu kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda nitamuokoa na kumweka palipo juu na kuwa amenijua jina langu ataniita nami nitamuitikia nitakuwa pamoja naye taabuni nitamuokoa na kumtukuza mwisho kwa siku nyingi nitamshibishia nitamshibisha nami nitamuonyesha wokovu wangu na Mungu alibariki andiko I didn't tell you my name. Nyato nyupai. Jeremia mimi simuiti Jeremia mimi nilimpa jina ya J. He is my first boy. Those who are mistaking Helen to be the mother of Jeremia, today I am here. <laughs> Asante ni. Asante ndotoni Jeremia hata mama wangu wa mjui mwangu anaitwa Phyllis hebu kuone <laughs> so that's my mother but uh, sisi, we, we never know that we never knew that we have a different mothers all of us were just the same were raised in the same place kuna nyanya uh, kuna babu yake mmoja ako ngambo anataka kusema dakika moja peke yake kajana la bwana uh, amjambo ya kwa majina naitwa Faris ya Kapeli Ndewa and um niko United States uh, a state called Virginia actually it is in central Virginia and um is right now at night it's like about three o'clock in the morning at night here yeah. and um I am Solomon's grandfather. Uh, well, he is actually uh, a grand um, nephew, a grand nephew. And I had uh, I had not really met Solomon, but I'd had very good stories about him over Christmas occasions, uh, how he's doing very well in school, how he's doing very well in scouting. And um, these are all the traits of our family. And um, the last two weeks, I'd been thinking a lot about building a basketball court, but I didn't know where to build it. And, and, and I didn't know how many people would come to play basketball. And I did not know that Solomon also was thinking about basket. I think it was just a hint that Solomon was waiting for me to you know, talk to him so that we can all our minds can come together. So um, his death has really shocked. It has shocked me. It has shocked our family because we have lost a very um, intelligent son. We have lost a very um, upcoming leader and um we are heartbroken but um as a family uh, we have prayed and decided that um we shall let go and let god and god will bring healing into our lives 
and um, Solomon's, um, you know, personality, you know, uh, with the scouting, he just took over for. Uh, Uh, John Luther and Tabitha were very big people on the scouting movement. And um, they really shaped, that really shaped their lives. Solomon's grandmother, I mean, great grandmother, who was actually a commissioner of the Gao guys. So uh, all, all these are actually just uh, the generational um, inherited, inheritance. Solomon loved farming, and his, his great grandparents really loved farming. So, uh, those, are, those are all the family traits, and, and um, that's why we were so much heartbroken. But someone also has given us a new mission, and his mission is that please finish up the work I have started. Let us support the, the scout movement. Let us support uh, the healthcare system. Uh, we, uh, I want to thank uh, my brother Peter Jakaiti, uh, my sister Helen, because we have been talking a lot about this. And um, recently, I've also had uh, one of my cousins, who's also the MCA, um, Mr. Seme, also has um, the same ideas about a hospital. We need to have our own hospital all over the world. People have people have progressed because of adversity because they overcame adversity. There's no city I've been to. There's no country I've been to. There's no community I've been to where they have not overcome adversity. Uh, his his death a turning point, so that um, the, the the generations come can be able to uh, take care of the themselves, you know, be able to go to the hospital and good 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 care, good orthopedic care, good pediatric care, and I think that's what we need to do. And um, I also I've also seen pictures of um, of class four where Solomon was attending. I think to the same class where I attended many, many years ago. It almost looks the same. I This is the challenge I want to give to the principals of that school. The let us engage with the community. When you're a principal, you're actually a leader. You're in a leadership position. You're just not managing, but you are leading. Want you, I want us to engage so that we can transform, you know, let Solomon's death be a, a transformative point. Because that's, that is the new mission that Solomon has left us. So um, I want just to encourage uh, Maya and Madame Celesa, you know, to remain strong and uh, pray and Healing will come to you, and we shall overcome all this. I know many people have overcome adversity. <clears throat> uh, the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, uh, he had just won his first senatorial seat, maybe in 1972, and his wife and daughter died in a car he was actually sworn in in the hospital bed when he was taking care of his son. And Joe Biden said, I can still be a senator and I can still be a parent. And Joe Biden is now the president of the United States. So we can overcome adversity. We can, um, God can bless us uh, in, in ways we have not and I also want to thank the Salvation Army for, you know, being really comforting. In different times, it has been very hard times. But they have always come in to comfort us. And I want to thank, thank you very, very much. 
I also want to thank the churches that are within Kolanya and I want to call for the unity of the church. Asante ni muamua kumkatiza kwa sababu ya muda. Wacha ni mchukue babu yake pita pia tafadhali tajulisha kwenye tu kwa haraka. Kisha baada ya babu pita mawaziri wana mkutano mahali ningeomba wanaomba kutoka kidogo. Kwa hivyo babu anaposimama ningeomba babu wengine pia tafadhali tuje kwa haraka. Kisha tutakuwa na waziri baada na wa, mawaziri tutakuwa na pita ambaye ni pita pia mwingine Melen. Ah uh, kanisa letu la jeshi la Ukovu Mawaziri walioko na wageni wote waombolezaji nyoyo wote hamjambo na mimi kwa jina naitwa Peter Jakaiti ni babu wa Solomon kwa hivyo wale wote ndugu zangu ambao wanaita Solomon mjukuu na waita mkuja hapa chap chap afu tuseme majina mjukuu wangu barikiwa Solomon ni mjukuu wangu alikuwa nampenda alikuwa mwerefu mimi ni brada ya kaiti na mimi kwa majina ni Evans Idachi babu wa Solomon Abraham Imo babu Eki Abraham well tuangalie kwa kamera huko tuangalie kwa kamera kamera man anapata shida kidogo kuzungusha kila wakati Asante sema Eki Abraham well babu Amkelo kumwen babu Richard Emodo babu Sema Joseph babu Okeme Robert babu nyanya yangu Nora ilitukule alitoka kwa uko ikaruka Lina Zexa babu Jeremy Dachi babu uh, kwa majina ni James Jakaiti babu wa marehemu Naitwa Haba Cook Epile Naitwa Mlepu John Kuka karibu Basi kwa niaba ya hao wote sisi tunasema eh, shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutupatia Solomon na vile wahenga wanasema kuishi ni bahati kufa ni lazima lakini nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ile wakati tulikuwa nayo Solomon na yule Mungu alipatia sisi Solomon aupatie Jeremia na mke wake Solomon mwingine asanteni Asante sijui mbona mnacheka wao kina babu Unajua sisi na anko zetu some of our, they are just our age mates. So msishangae. Kwa hivyo wacha ni mlete waziri ili kwa sababu wana shughuli nyingine. Kisha baada ya waziri ningemwomba Peter na Roger so kuwe tayari. Asante sana mfawidhi wa siku ya leo. Kanisa letu tukufuli kiongozwa na captains walioko mahali hapa familia ya ndugu Jeremiah na sisi sote tuliofika kwa ajili ya kumsindikisha solo hamjambo hiyo gasi kere mimi naitwa Olunga mimi ninafanya kazi kwa county government ya Busia kama waziri wa michezo jinsia na sanaa lakini mimi sitoki mimi bado niko rafiki yangu ndugu yangu la Kachuna ambaye ni waziri wa biashara ndio ana haraka kidogo ana shughuli kule Bunyala ndipo nimeomba nafasi ili tumpe asalimie waombolezaji na captain ni maajabu sana mimi nimekuwa mwalimu na nilikuwa chairman wa NAT secretary executive secretary wangu alikuwa wala kachuna treasurer wangu alikuwa bwana eseme sisi sote saa hizi watatu tuko kwa county government na executive secretary wa sasa hivi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ndio yule ameketi kule chairman che, Chairman Executive Secretary na Treasurer kujeni. Alafu former pia kujeni. Tupigwe tu picha alafu waziri aongee na 
tuendele kwa sababu nimeona wa sasa wako na waliokuepo pia wako Captain hawa ndio walikuwa wanashikilia lakini sasa wenye wame wamechukua hatamu ya uongozi ya walimu ndio hawa Kwa hivyo sisi tunapigwa tu picha kwa sababu ni si kawaida kutupata kwa pamoja hivi. Alafu tukimaliza story ya picha then waziri atanena. Good, najua secretary utapata nafasi yako baadaye. Waziri karibu ili uomboleze nasi familia ya ndugu wetu Jeremiah pamoja na Madam Slaysa jamii ya walimu ambao wamekuja hapa kusimama na ndugu wetu nimetambua uongozi wa walimu KNUT Teso Branch Faridi nimetambua uongozi wenu ambao uko hapa viongozi wa wanaskauti mheshimiwa MCA na aliyekuwa MCA na watambua oni kerelu kamonyaka ichan enyarto ngeja kaitola kachuna umse ekarwe pela down ko kaukane asoma itonki mwalimu no bala loke raban araitong executive secretary nat teso branch eringane na rayonge chairman na rai jeremiah katinto token kasolo ipo patinkanga noi kwa hivyo leo nilisema hata kama shughuli ni nyingi lazima vile vile nijiunge na familia kuleta rambi rambi zangu na kudhihirisha umoja wetu na upendo wetu na urafiki wetu kwamba sio tu wakati wa raha hata wakati wa machungu na magumu kama haya tuko pamoja oni luka monyaka kere loero toko kere mera kongeni kalukun kinosi na mimi nashukuru familia hii kwa kuwa ndani ya kanisa. Manaka ukiwa ndani ya kanisa unapata hekima na ujasiri ya kustahimili yote ambayo atakuja mbele yetu ambayo ni magumu. Kwa hivyo mimi naleta rambi rambi zangu nasema mjipe mioyo ambayo itawafaa wakati wa majonzi na yote itakuwa sawa. It shall be well. I know it is painful hata tukae hapa namna gani uchungu huo mzito zaidi ni nyinyi ndio mnaupata nuche pole nera reja kaitolunga eh, katika serikali ya His Excellency Dr Paul Nyongesa Otoma nilipata kutunukiwa nafasi ya kuwa waziri wa viwanda biashara na ushirika vile vile juzi nikaongezewa idara ingine ya utalii ama tourism katika kaunti yetu na mimi nataka tu kutoa hipizo kwamba mulipiga kura ni sehemu yetu sasa kuwafanyia kazi. Ya muhimu ni kwamba tutembee pamoja na viongozi wetu tuwashike mkono wakati wanapanga na kuleta miradi katika sehemu zetu. Viongozi wetu wote kila mtu alitoa manifesto na akasema mkinipa uongozi nitawatekelezea haya. Ndipo sisi tuko na tutatembea na ninyi. Akutonga longa kimama takere ebeka sipunosi kaloto toka pugan kana kukuju kana ku county government ili tuweze kupata matunda bora katika serikali yetu kangu nukadis akotonga kilipa lepori akirionga tukota chebu nyala kamonyata kamonyata ni npedeke kisirengoni kasante waziri wakati huu wacha ni mlete Rojas uh, Rojas Opuru tafadhali kama cousins wa Slesa Kisha pita pia utakuwa tayari Basi kanisa 
viongozi wetu familia na mbolezaji kwa jumla mjambo yogasi ichan um, nikianza nitaomba kwa heshima ndugu zangu alomo niko pasama alomo niko kajoro yeni nyarti yo solo chenkuni kuguo kikiaka nikuju lupungul bonadol tu yeno ngeje team elomot ka kawata erokedol na erokeji asorot kereke dubu na itana fasi ebuni akto di arkesi e nakok ngareni akotonga ke ayao na kitur ke pakosi laita nera toto kane neski pokona arawe to an lumuduki mam ke bekni alusit tinaite yas kanene atake bune de mam ke pedro anyo na temari nyane kona e out ne saki tur kene e balane ke munti nesi nese ge ya ikar ka kwap kanatu pakikaru meri koko ni didi kap ka eni ake ge kok ngaren ken erta ge tur na ka polonoi ne buni akiswalo longo ne siko karuken ga yo te ka do ebuna ne saki jar so elipit ne si ke ngada ke siko kweni ka ke na pakena ema makaron we gelgela yo te no ke but ki kokino si ke nyek na na kasubane Mamone jora karoni epuaka yene ton kane iko kweni esa kalom nam ka papa na bari kokuni didi ye makron we galgala idi auto sa ka monyi kane e alama abal ko nyongo de ne e ni kokuni chi etunga lu yo te yasne e jas ka omo mission e galgala na bare pola lomna tu na reki ko kaeni e auta pipilu ne rainaiti apu pionge jaka et farisi ne rakama itungalu iteta ngali wok ko choikisi angali ukitunga mama le mara ngali ukitunga esbane boliare Mama le mara ngali ukitunga esitbane boliare particularly dwelu chuslu Kerena et ko le marte tunga lu akipia ke na chuaka sio te jeni atamare ko to yake tajari twani amunto ngoti na et mamno ke lumuto be Atakere to ni kore ko to ngakelipa Kidumu yo ni cheko ne deka kama apika neni kalema se nafasi ke tajarate maisha kene atake dinga sonde kabungu tko nyedingok bonge la karane ding bonga beit ke dinga soska duket de kangene ko jari ide ko jari nde bon ngali tolo soko nyone dingok ngol nek no son kel paranta parachu Mero konya baya ki tute be loko mamuka kwa pkana e poli nara nare te soto e be loka ngo chutu paka dui. Bongko nene nara ini mamnge na karot ki dere be. Nabari due lu chus lu ka taka dinga song ka jo. Papa mo ishime seme. Iya ikino sona pake ne oje. A taka dinga song ka jo. Mama ki piake nko kotoma. Na bare mamiu ki jeni moyi ko ko ene rawuni ngai e buna yeu ne maisha kon ke tonga kon galuko ngaren abe itegara lebun 
Mamonga kota ki atnui puaka balanga naka sobani kwa ya solo nam kaluka jokak Mamonga balo be na megel nobe abalanga kwa yare nam kaluka jokaka na bare iko kwe nichi e macron e galgala e ala manoi munga wajali asante pita Mjambo wa mboleazaji Wa majina naitwa Peter Luta Mi njo ndugu yake Jeremia Mimi njo mjomba wa solo Siku ya leo ina machungu sana Na nae ni nafraa kwa sababu Mekuja wa mboleaza nasi Ngependa ndugu zangu wote Mbawa mnaita solo Mambao sola na waita wajomba, mje hapa, alafu ujitambulisha. Ngependa wote mkuje. Jeni. Acha mungu awe mungu. Tangu kuzali wa kwangu. Jana uze, aja wahimi ni acha Wenye giza, kani peke ya nuru Kisi hangaike Wenye shida, kutengene zanjia Matu wake tunapita wacha sisi tulikuwa kina baba sio kina anko sababu wamezoea kutuita anko ndio lakini sisi kina baba sio kina anko kwa hivyo wakati huu nataka niite shangazi wake lakini si shangazi itaita kwanza mama zake au wengine kiongoza madam rufus kisha shangazi zake wakiongoza na priska wako tayari Ali tafsiri Kiswahili alifanya makosa. Wakisema anko sisi tujue ni gani gani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tamaye Yesu. Ah. Uh, kanisa andalizi. Wageni wa Solomon wenye wameandikiwa barua kuja kwa sherehe hii wakiomo viongozi kwa tabaka yenu mbalimbali hiyo gasi bobo kotonga nyaraoni itungalo enya roslesa kinachkes kobutune katipet kinyarios lesa kinachkon Kinyar Dios lesa amuikon 
keska ka muru kasolo keska jaja akene kasolo katipet katipet tuja raka tupige picha a uh, Najua wengine bado wako njiani watafika kwa wakati wao lakini sisi wenye tuko tunawakilisha bow to the church and face the camera face the camera tuko hapa kwa sababu ya picha asanteni Asante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Yuni Soshoromo. Slesa is my cousin. Shongo nwera ya sakana chan. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Slesa ni dada yangu. Nani? Mimi naitwa Masi Akudit. Pia Jeremia ni ndugu yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Stella Ruth, dada wa Slesa na ni dada wa Jeremia. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Haleluya. Kwa majina naitwa Nanzi Ekuleo. Slesa ni dada yangu mbarikiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Sheila Cole. Slesa ni dada yangu, Jeremia ni ndugu yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Anne Ipat. Uh, Madam Selisa, uh, Madam Slesa ni nlo wangu. Angorit kwa toa makala tani. Ingloa kwa tanga lmoki niyo pole. Na iti ibu niyo rengi na ibu niyo upasio kikokon. Kwa ina kedeke ya mani. Yalama. Nyeni kamuru kenka Solomon. Mwana Yesa Sifiwe. Elizabeth Opuru shemeji wake. Madam Slesa. Mimi ndiyo shemeji wake mkubwa. Madam Slesa mjipe moyo. Kia nyi tungale endapte yunufomulu. Nese itoru utoka silesa akoka pe. Bwana sifiwe. Na tumesimama kuanzia kwa silesa hapa. Ye ndiyo mkubwa. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Na itwa Evelyn Okiradu. Silesa vile dadangu wa mesema. Ndiya nanifuata. Na tumelea watoto wetu kwa pamoja. Wakikuja huku kwangu. Hata wangu wameishi hapa na walikuwa mezoeana. Tutamis solo. My sister and my brother-in-law, take a heart, God knows. Wana asina sifiwe, kwa majina naetua Grace, Sasia, Ipat. Mimi ni dadake Slesa, kwa tumbo ya baba yangu na mama yangu na batano. Na mimi ni mama ya Hogla. Hogla melelewa kumkono ya Slesa na Shemeji, Jeremia. Na mtoto solo, alikuwa mtoto ya Hogla, ye ndi alilea na kalea na watoto wengine. Mbarikiwe. Kanisa andalizi na wambulizaji kwa jumla, buwana sifiwe. Ninaitua Bifanis Itaru. Nikiwa dadake Silesa. Na hata wakati Silesa alipo kuja hapa, alikuwa naishi na mimi. Na hata ile siku, Solomon alituacha, alituacha tukiwa watatu hospitalini. Nilikuwa pamoja na shemeji wangu Jeremia na Silesa. Usiku mzima wakati mtoto alikuwa anapambana 
na safari yake solo fare thee well we shall meet again thank you naomba kuruka mtu mmoja bwana asifiwe kwa majina ni ipata miriam namba 2 kwa kwa mzao wa baba na mama asanteni solo nilikupenda mungu akakupenda zaidi rest in peace Uh, kwetu tuko na mtu mwenye tunamuita madam speaker uh, ataongea kwa niaba ya familia i may only give a summary karibu asante kanisa andalizi wazazi wa mtoto wetu mpendwa solomon jamii yote kwa jumla waombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana. Bwana Yesu Kristo asifiwe. Salamu ya shujaa Solomon ya mwisho. Asanteni sana. Kwa majina ninaitwa Mama Pauline Otete. Mimi ni dada yake Slesa. Nikiwa mtoto namba tatu kwa uzao wa baba na mama. E Jinsi vile amesema huwa ninaitwa kwa lugha nyingine na ninaifurahia sana ninaitwa ikituku. Ikituku wa kutengeneza maneno sio kuharibu. Unapotaka jambo kupasha habari kwa familia hii unapitia kwangu. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo ya kwamba Solomon safari yake imefika mwisho. Nataka kuomba Slesa pamoja na Shemeji Jeremaya ya kwamba mkubali imefanyika wacha mtoto wetu waende kwa amani sisi ndio tutamfuata. Ninajua Slesa akiwa last born but yeye ndiye amelea watoto wote. Hata wangu watoto wameishi hapa. Kuna mwenye alikuwa anasoma hapa kwa Lanya Girls alikuwa anakuja hapa. Kuna mwenye alikuwa anasoma kwa Lanya Boys alikuwa anakuja hapa. Slesa ni mama mwenye melea wote. Slesa mkimuona hivyo hako na wajuku. Kila mtu akisikia tata Slesa, tata Slesa. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema kwamba asanteni kubali, asanteni kukuja kusindikisha mtoto wetu Solomon. Shujaa. Somebody who has taken over the name the king. King Solomon, rest in peace. We shall meet one day thank you so much hallelujah ah uh, ukiangalia kwa program solo amekuwa na hobbies na solo apart from the hobbies amekuwa na mambo amekuwa akifanya solo has written a very short history 10 years pwaka ngunakro solo vile madam speaker amesema was given a serious name and there is power in naming kia ndo sa para na gidiane pour la do ya kiru bon mo le king kateso solo was outgoing edolo namiji yo e get berang ar kial e kno mes mail ndi alete mkono anti abari i was smiling machine who was ready to face any task ahead of him a serious instruction follower aparna ga balare god ni sikob galak ni mpira la basketball connected instructions ak bilion empira terms and conditions kaduma ngaki wanja kok nay tenaken e bongun pap kene bonge jaaki wanja tayari solo was a loving and welcoming young man we shall miss him but we want to surrender him 
unto the Lord so that at the end of the day, he receives us as we shall be preparing our ways to go to heaven. Uh, I would want to wish Solo a dancing journey to heaven that the angels welcome him. As I ask my children whom I have nurtured, Silesa amechukua mantle ya kukuza watu kutoka kwa mikono yangu. Kindly release Solo unto heaven. Kwa chamtu e kukinosi, kwa laka kisikoku, kwa utana maka papa kuju, kidiane, kapakikana kesha, mbarikiwe. Asante. That powerful name is known as Imwene. That's why you see that he was a king. Asante wakati huu, anti yake tafadhali, Priska. All the aunties kudeni kwa raka. Sante. Aunties kindly tafadhali, tukuja kwa raka. All those that Solo used, used to call auntie. Asante sana. Other Salvation Army Church. Family and friends. Everybody who has come here to celebrate Solomon's life. We are so grateful and happy to have you around. I'm Solomon's auntie, Senga from Uganda. My name is Bavide Priska Nakaima. And here with me are some of the aunties. Some are from Uganda, others are from within. I'm going to request each of them to tell them your name. Oh, Pauline, I forgot. Lakini sawa too. I'm not very fluent in Kiswahili. You'll excuse me. Kabla sijawa pair a microphone to talk. I may not have so much to say about Solomon's life, but I'll request my sister. Tabitha Lunga to talk more about Solomon. Bwana Sifiwe, mina itua Patience Rose Bagonza, mini auntie wa Solomon kutoka Uganda. Santeni. Bwana Yesu na Sifiwe, na itua Jenny Iupai, auntie wa, eh, wa Solomon. Jay is my cousin. Thank you. Bwana Sifiwe, mina itua Yvonne na Simiu na Mlata, mimi ni shangazi yake Solomon na natoka at the river. Praise God. Okay, my name is Elizabeth Namlata. I'm Solomon's auntie from Sukimau. Hi everyone. Uh, God is good and all the time. I'm Wendy Iupai Namlata. Um, mimi ni auntie Solomon from at the river. Santene, I'm going to request Alungata to be more about Solomon. Bwaneso asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Tabitha Alungat. Uh, kwanza na washukuru kwa kuja hapa kuomboleza nasi. I have a lot to say about Solo. Lakini sina that courage for now but nashukuru Mungu for the time we've been with Solo. Hata nikithink about solo, the only thing I naona ni kusmile, kufrai, kupenda kazinsu wake, wakifika, jea kikuja, wana, walikuwa nafraia pamoja, kukua pamoja, walikuwa napendana, kucheza pamoja. Even your last day, alikuwa nyumbani, kiselebrate, my daughter was turning three. 
na venye alikuwa anasema siezi have birthday before my cousins wakuje wakakuja waka celebrate together i'm thankful for the time we have been with solo solo rest in peace Sajen. Okay, the cousins also come tafadhali. Wacha uyabaki, wacha uyabaki. Wacha uyabaki. The cousins please. Kuna cousins wa hapa alafu kuna cousins wale wa The cousins come please. That was Jojo. They were celebrating birthday ya Jojo. Pujeni. Ya wote wote just. All the cousins tafadhali kujeni. Bot patato na matano alikuja ni kwa haraka. Nasema jina lako. Baba yako nani mama yako nani? Nasema jina baba mama. So you say your name. Sawa. Plus your mother's name. Okay, sawa. This one's kidogo. Hawa ni wa huku. Bado ni wadogo. So Nicole will talk on behalf of the rest. Sawa. Alafu this ones huyu na huyu na huyu they are the last wakicheza na solo pamoja na George why is Jojo this four ndio walikuwa wanacheza football pamoja na solo wakati alianguka haya sema sema jina sema jina say your name no yes haya sawa sawa haya say your name say your name and your father for mother's name my name is Adrian Oyakapel My mother is called Caroline Ejakite. My father is called Samson Luta. We will miss you so long. Rest in peace. My name is My name is Christian Jaden Juma. My mother is called Tabitha Alungat and my father is called Mike Michael Juma. Rest in peace so long. We shall meet again. My name is Denzel Idewa. My father is Samson Ejakait. My mother is Caroline Ejakait. Rest in peace, solo we should meet again. My name is Nina Oidera Oweru. I'm Solomon's cousin. I really miss you and we will meet again rest in peace. My name is Nigel Miruri Waweru. I am Solomon's cousin. Rest in peace Solo. We will meet again. My name is Neville Yakapel. And my dad's name is Steve Luta. And my mom's name is Grace Adiambo. Rest in peace Solo. We shall meet again. My name is Ipai Felicia. My mother's name is Rose Bagonzo Patience. Rest in peace, Solo. We should meet again. My name is Nicole Acheng. My father's name is Steve Luta. And my mother's name is Grace Odiambo. I thank you all of you for coming to celebrate this day for Solo. God bless you. We shall meet so with Solo again. Rest in peace. Thank you. Ah, sawa. Okay. I need to take over to Fadali. Just name Sarah Karaka. Kanisa Andalizi na wote walio jumuika pamoja nasi kwa ajili ya safari ya mwisho ya Solo na wasalimu kwa jina la Bwana Hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapa mbele tuko na cousins wa Solomon upande wa mama kwa uzao wa Auntie Slesa wako wasichana saba they call themselves the seven sisters they were here and some of us are here watoto wao Solomon has been part and parcel of our lives wakati shule zinafungwa he has always been coming home and we meet and he has been a very jovial boy we've lost a game and it just happens that uh, he has been the last born cousin so to us this is such a blow but we pray for strength to our aunt we really love you to our aunt and uncle we really love you we are still your children we are still here with you and i know god will walk with us this journey so uh 
let just each and everyone who is here introduce themselves. Maybe to answer na nyumba. Nyumba ya kwanza ni ya Madam Rufus. Auntie Rufus, sorry. Familia ya Auntie Rufus. Nyumba ya pili. Auntie Miriam. I'm Caroline Ijaka. Oya Kapel Emmanuel. Janet Opolo, Mikazin Wamjomb. Ipat Lilian. Nyumba ya tatu, Auntie Pauline. Linda Otete. Shalina Kwede. Justin Otete. Faith Otete. Nyumba ya nne, uh, Mom, Madam Fanis. Naitu Nancy Itaro, first born. Yvonne Akwenye. Itaru Bethwell. Renish Itaru. Maureen Itaru. Nyumba ya Tano, Auntie Evelyn. Praise God. I'm Okiradu Anit. Okiradu Brian. Nyumba ya Sita, Auntie Grace. Awajafika Bado. So in the, around your cousins, kutoka side ya mama. And uh, to the the church, we really thank you for standing with us as a family during this uh, morning period. May God really bless you. And thank you to everyone who has showed up for this event. Asanteni, mungu wabariki. Mi mwenye naitua Ane Titaru. Thank you. Oh, so hapa, then of friends. And these are the grade four group. Uh, who, who is going to talk? I think uh, they have an item. Wanta kuimbia mwenzao, alafu mwajao atawangea. Kisha baada ya hawa, bandu tutapatia tune, alafu ntaita Faridi. Kolanya Boys Boarding Primary School. Wimbo Huni Wimbo Historia. Watu ote mnaombwa, mskize kwa makini. Ilikuwa September taretano, mwaka elefu mbili. Ishirini na tatu Watu wote tulisikia Solomon Solomon, Solomon Ameaga duniani Tuliona huzuni mwingi sana Jami yote tuliona Machozi ya huzuni Woi, woi Ilikuwa kilio cha uchuni Jami yote tuliona Huzuni mwingi sana Walimu wanafunzi na wazazi Kote walilia machozi ya uchungu Solomoni, Solomoni, Solomoni Solomon is Solomon, Solomon ya metuacha. Mungu wetu wa rehema wa mapendo, aweze kumrehemu mwenda zake Solomon. Thank you. Asante. Okay, I think in Mambi Akwamba, the class teacher will say something about Solomon. Badai, wakati nati takuja. Kwa wakati huu, natakuchukua inafasi, kuleta Faridi, kiongoza na mwenye kiti. Banta fadhali, tuweke tune, as welcome Faridi.
Eh, kanisa waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika hapa leo. Eh, mimi kwa majina naitwa Brother Godfrey Saidi, eh, chairman wa Farid Sako. Eh, babake mtoto ambao amelala ni my vice chairman. Jeremiah Luta. He's a friend and a confident too. So, hii ndiyo team ambayo inafanya na eh, Jeremiah, the vice chairman. So, nafikiria kila mtu atasema jina lake. Kisha nitanena tu mawili for not more than three minutes. Thank you. Kanisa, familia ya mwenda zake, eh, all protocol observed. Mimi naitua Margaret Onyango, treasurer Faridi Sako. Nasitaka kusema pole, mwalimu Jeremia na madam. Nimeuzunika hata mimi manake, nikiwa hapa. Mtoto Solomon amezaliwa wakati moja na my firstborn grandson. Ninauzuni sana, lakini tunaomba mungu kwa maana ya kisha mwagika haya zoleki. Wacha tuombe mtoto Solomon aweze kuwekwa mahali pema ambapo Mungu alimtendea alimtengea kulingana na matendo yake amesifiwa sana na ni mtoto mdogo hajatenda dhambi Mungu amlaze pema alipomtengea asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza kwa majina anaitwa Margaret Onyango asante Kanisa andalizi jamii ambayo imefiwa jamii ya walimu waombolezaji wote kwa jumla Bwana Yesu unaasifiwe Hebu na tupunge mikono yetu hewani tukimsalimia solo salamu zake za mwisho uh, wakati waliita hapa kinanyanya mi sikusimama kwa sababu nilijua nitapata nafasi solo ni my great grandchild onga kare utnakoje malomotongo kokocholia ko family kikali Ah uh, eso maitonke sapata Jeremia Osako <coughs> Enyartong Melda Modo Angwalas Araitong na kegirigiran kokamati kaloka supervisory Apipiluna ema mitwani biki na kingarakini Jeremia kitunslesa Erait naka subanbun ni se biki na kiyang yang akinga inga kakijang jang taukes paka na mi esip no totor epola pipiluna mami twana tamare epol god bless us a uh, kanisa takatifu familia na ombolezaji wote na hapa pole zangu uh, jina naitwa joseph oguti omnyen uh, solomon Lala pema palio tengewa wema walio tenda mema Mungu akubariki Solomon malaika asanteni Bwana sifiwe Bwana sifiwe Amen Mungu pita ni jina na mimi natoka Mkura a board member wa Faridi tunafanya kazi na ndugu yetu Okay kanisa na ombolezaji wote na wasalimu wa mjambo kwa majina naitwa Jackson Wanyango natoka Marachi West nafanya kazi na mwalimu Amuke na pigia tu pole kwa familia wacha Mungu ilaze roho ya marehemu mahali pema peponi asanteni asante kwa majina naitwa Kennedy Magoba natoka Samia naipatia jamii ya mwenzangu Luta rambi rambi zangu na Mungu apate kuwafunga mkanda wakati huu mgumu poleni e, kanisa waombelezaji wote hamjambo mimi naitwa Diko Nyango Diko Nyango mimi ni Faridi member na nafanya kazi na mwenzangu hapa Luta e, mimi nasema pole sana kwa familia ya mwalimu kwa mpoteza kijana mdogo fare the well Young man, tutakutana tena.
Jina naitwa Clement Odhiambo natoka Butla na akilisha walimu na mdogo. Asante. Familia ya ndugu Jeremia na madam Kanisa Takatifu Salvation Army. Mimi naitwa Mudivo Samuel natoka kule Bunyala na kilisha walimu wetu wa Bunyala South kwa faridi sako. Nasema pole na Mungu awape ujasiri wakati huu mgumu. Asante. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mimi naitwa Mke Jeremiah Luta hapa ni nyumbani Vice Chairman Faridi Sako. Thank you Sasa Mnaiza ka. Jeremiah took over from Robert Atedu. Please just rise. Robert, kujo salamie tu mate. Eh Teso North members eh walichagua Luta na my brother Robert ndiye alikuwa ameshikilia from 2003 to around 2020. Thank you Robert. Santa sana bwana chairman. Uh, familia ya Jeremia na Silesa kanisa kaluka monyoka yote iwalatosi. Nataka tu kusema pole sana kwa familia ya Jeremia na Silesa. Sio kitu rahisi lakini take heart. Thank you bwana chairman. Okay thank you Robert. A master of ceremony in two minutes I want just to say ya kwamba Farid Sako ni iko na four branches. Ingine iko port, ingine iko eh sehemu za ugunja, tuko na ingine pale buma, eh, pale Malaba, alafu head office ni, ni Busia. Our team pamoja tuangamize umaskini. Soon tutaleta tutaleta service center hapo Angoram. Fanye biashara wote mkuje mchukue loans zile ambazo unataka alafu tuangamize umaskini pamoja sisi hatuna mpaka sako ni ya walimu wafanye biashara wakulima wote they are entitled to getting loans wote wanaweza kuwa members na tunaangamiza umaskini kabisa hiyo ndio theme yetu e, nataka tu kushukuru my brother e, e, Jeremiah i do describe him as my co-chair is my co-driver is my uh, is my co is my co-driver na ninamwamini sana though at one time nilimuuliza ya kwamba Jeremiah unaonekana kama umeokoka <laughs> na akasema hichi tuko tu hapo hapo pia na <laughs> nikasema wewe ni kama uko na fruits of the Holy Spirit. Nikisoma Galatians chapter 22 and, uh, and verse 5 from 22. Una exhibit those fruits of the Holy Spirit. There are nine. Si ndio? Ingawaje unaposema tuko hapo hapo lakini wewe ni kama mmoja wa Yesu, wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo. Lakini sure is a humble is a humble leader. Is dependable, is trusted, is trusted and is honest. Hata mimi nikitoka nikiacha sako in the, in the hands of such leaders nitasema Faridi nitaendelea mpaka eh, nione kwamba imefanya kazi. Ubarikiwe sana wana ambao wamekuja hapa waziri is our member Faridi sako members please wanyoshe mkono maana ambao wako walimu ni wengi. Just you can lift up your hands you can see there are many ni kweli pamoja tuangamizo maskini farmers and businessmen tukeleta branch hapa Ngorumu mkuje Hey, Angurai, yes. Mwende malava, meanwhile mwende malava mchukue loans, tuangamize umaskini. Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yule nilikuwa ni Faridi. Tukingoja match past ya scouts, tafadhali bado mtawaleta kwa haraka. Nataka kumleta jirani bwana uh, Sergeant Chief Bwana Mwaru. Evans Mwaru tafadhali. Band uh, scouts tafadhali. Ningeomba tafadhali tarakisha kidogo na band itawaleta. Tafadhali band muende pale mwalete. Kisha tafadhali scouts I don't know whether you are ready. Are you ready? Sawa so, band mtawaleta. Alafu pia ningeomba wanafunzi. Wanafunzi waratama kwa lanya boys sangaro tafadhali. Ukiona walimu wamekuwa wengi tafadhali mtawapatia nafasi kidogo wakae. Kindly tafadhali. 
MC point of correction. Those are not my names. Me naitwa Evans Emeje. Hiyo jina ngine umesema hiyo. Kama ningekuwa na uwezo ningeenda kustrack wewe. Basi eh kanisa lile tukufu la jeshi la okofu a uh, national government na county government of sasa ambayo yuko hapa walimu na sisi wote ambayo amekuja kuomboleza pamoja na sisi hapa nikependa kusema hamjambo iparanto si bas majina zangu ndio hizo nimesema uh, mimi ni jirani wa mwalimu Jeremia amonjela side of his house na yuko pande huu Jeremia came here we welcome him properly humbly tukakaa kama familia moja Jeremia the other side is my nephew mama yake ni ni cousin wangu so i took Jeremia as my firstborn because most of the issues we are doing here tulikuwa tunafanya pamoja na yeye but later now when i come to the uh kuhusu uh kipo ya solo ni pigo kubwa sana because i remember on 5th that was monday morning around 4 am kelekea subui I got a message from Jeremiah stating that the state of Solo is very poor. Nikamkwa kwa ushangao. Nikasema what has really happened? But immediately after some minutes I received a call from my city chief Rogers. Na kwamba do you know what's happening in the neighborhood? I told him no. Mwalim Jeremia has lost a child. So the death of Solo he has left us in a very big question. What happened? What happened? What happened? Most of people are disturbing me. Ati mkono tu peke yake. I told them that was the issue that was the cause of Solo to uh, to go. So painful to we neighbors. Ni kijana ambaye alikuwa focused very humble good all round Professor Mzoto kwa njia hiyo we are not happy but i request the national government and the county uh, government kuna facility yetu hapa ambayo ilijengwa miaka karibu almost the age of my father 1930s can you please sit down and put your heads together to upgrade that health facility to avoid long distance for treatment Exactly kwa kwa lanya sikikwa raisi You see now how many hours so lord kwanza so lord lumia kwa shangasi kwa grandmother yake kwa lanya kule anapiga tu kwa lanya kwa hospitali malakisi zende bungoma How many hours are we lost from there kama hiyo hospitali ya kwa lanya ingekuwa nafanya Please I request the county government though in your mission but you cannot success treatment through the NHIF Put your hands together to improve that health facility. Why was stuck in the same mengi because I have no what to say about solo. But I request the parents. We have accepted and uh, ah baada kifo kwa wale ambao wako hai maisha inaendelea. All programs mwalimu ambao alikuwa analelesea please pick pick those programs to go. I know ilikuwa na pangilio kali sana katika familia familia yako lakini of those programs and God will guide you and hao watoto ambao utaenda utarudi kwa shule watabarikiwa na Mungu watapata masomo iliyo bora kwa hiyo machache nasema asanteni kunisikiza okay, thank you okay band quick match scouts waje Kwa heshima ya scouts tusimame tafadhali.
as they are coming for that much past may I kindly request the leadership to fadali to kuje Basi hiyo ni patch must eh uh, ni match past ya heshima sana kwa yule ambaye amelala mwana scout so wanakuja wakifika pale wataimba national anthem na east african anthem na pia watasema the scouts promise ya mwisho kwa mwenda zake kijana wetu solo asante kwa hiyo heshima ya mwisho kwa kusimama sisi sote so wanaenda kupeana heshima yao ya mwisho kwa mwenda zake kijana solo hapo mbele unaona wana scout wadogo sana sungura scouts katika scouts na vitengo tofauti tofauti sungura scout ndio hao mbele and the other commanders kuna chipukizi scouts kuna mwamba scouts kuna rovers Thank you. Hold. At is. A lot. At is. A lot. Yeye ndio kazi solo alikuwa anafanya. He was also assistant commander. Salute. National anthem. East Africa Hiyo ni saluti ya heshima sana. Scout sign. Scout promise. My own. I promise that. I do my best to do my duty to God. To help other people at all time to be this cause. Drop. At is. So wako tayari kuondoka. Outwards. Turn. Slow, slow march. Slow march. 
slow mark time Yo hao anaondoka sasa Familia tu Slow mark time Wakiondoka Thank you so much Scouts Tenny. Thank you, Scout. Thank you, Scout. Asante ni sana tunaweza kuketi chini tunaweza kuketi sasa wanaondoka Thank you so much Asante band tutaendelea even as the scouts are marching out uh nataka kuchukua fursa hii kukaribisha wana scout ambao ni leaders kujitambulishe tuko na vitengo tofauti tofauti hapo kuna scout leaders kuna officials of the sub county pia tuko na chairman wa county na tuko na treasurer wa county au wa sub county pia yuko na sisi hapa kwa hivyo wengi wa wale ambao wamekuwa kwa march past ndio scout leaders na nataka kuomba tu ukiwa tu hapo msimame mpunge mikono scout leaders wenye mnakuja punga mikono kwa kwa mbolezaji asanteni uh, the leadership of the sub county doroth Kindly come forward. Tuko na viongozi wa sub county hii. Pamoja na sub county ya Teso Central na Teso South. Ah nitaanza na youth leader wetu I'm Rashim Zuma, the Sonoth Youth Representative. Ekisa Godwin, Teso South Youth Leader. Joshua Elisha, Teso Central Youth Leader. Asante, tuko na representative wa private schools wetu hapa. Uh, Kismamiwa na madam. Miriam Barasa, Kenya Private Association. Thank you. Ah uh, pamoja na mimi hapa niko na training commissioner Dorothy Atiang training commissioner Teso North I'm Dan Wangira uh, programs commissioner uh, Teso North mimi pia ni mwalimu hapa Kolanya Asante sana nafikiria mipangilio mingi ya kusindikisha solo au ndio wameshughulika sana Asante Ah uh, mimi ni Joseph Isogol the commissioner Teso North. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kukaribisha treasurer wa scouts 
ambayo iko pamoja na sisi hapa pia jitambulisha najua wengi wajui leadership ya scouts in the sub county but tuko na mheshimiwa hapa ambaye ni treasurer wa scouts in Teso North uh, kanisa wa polisaji wote takuchukua nafasi kwa salimu bwana asifiwe poleni sana mimi ni treasurer ya sub county tumefanyia hao watu kazi nzuri i think it is joy the scouts association that has a piece of land koit so wakati wote ukiwa na sherehe kuna shamba huko ya scouts we also want to generate uh, income kama una sherehe kuna shamba nzuri sana ya kufanya sherehe yako tafadhali karibu kule mungu awabariki sana asante sana kabla sijakamil uh, karibisha chairman wa county nina mawili tu ya kusema mama tatu hivi. Ya kwanza nataka kusema kwamba kila mmoja anapozaliwa na kuanza kuwa anachagua familia ambazo anataka kujiunga nazo. Diposa tukiwa hapa najua kila mmoja wetu ako na familia. I don't mean family yenye umezaliwa but vile unakuwa unashirikiana na watu gani. Kama we ni mwalimu ulichagua familia mwalimu kama wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu ulichagua familia ya uh, kutumikia Mungu na nataka kusema kwamba Solo alichagua, alichagua familia na mmeshuhudia kwamba hata scout akiwa mdogo anaweza toa amri yake makomandi zake na wengine wanafuata wale ambao wamekuwa commanders hapa ni watoto wadogo ambao wanaitwa Sungura wako kwa Sungura stage na wameanza huo mwendo watabadilishana na hapo uh, stages kutoka kwa Pukizi kutoka Chipukizi wataingia Mwamba kutoka Mwamba kutoka Rovers wataingia hasa adults that is uh, being leaders of scouting uh, solo tunamjua vizuri katika kitengo hicho na hakuwa na uoga wowote is a boy whom we have nurtured in scouting na tulikuwa tunajua kwamba angefika mbali sana kwa sababu amekuwa kwa shule kolanya boys ambaye me represent this Teso North kule Rowland National uh, Scouts Competition na wal, kolanya boys walifika pale pamoja na malaba na shule zingine ambazo zil represent so north but you have missed solo because he would have taken us far mama solo is also a good scout leader madam slesa and that's why we are here in numbers na tumekuja kumfariji uh, asema tuendelee vivyo hivyo na scouting itasimama Nataka pia kuchukua nafasi hii sasa kukaribisha chairman wa scouts Busia County. Najua wengi wenu pengine mjui ni nani lakini yuko na sisi hapa ni mwenzetu ambaye ametoka hapa kwa Lanya. He is now the chairman of scouts Busia County. Karibu sana. Asante sana commissioner. Mtanena kwa ufupi sana. Kwanza nataka nitambue county scouts youth leader ndio tu useme jina na mimi pia nitasema tu jina ili tu peane nafasi kwa wengine pia Okay kanisa familia na ombolezaji wote hamjambo Hamjambo tena e, kwa majina naitwa Iwadi Isaac e, tumejumuika hapa e, tusindikize mwenzetu e, Kiwana scout tunasema mwenzetu ameenda nyumbani May Solo Sol rest in peace. Thank you. Asante mimi naitwa Olunga. Kabla sijakuwa waziri nimekuwa nikifanya kama kepsha chairman wa scouts at the county level lakini niliachilia hiyo nafasi kwa sasa mimi ni chairman wa local association ya scouts and uh, by coincidence scouting is domiciled in my department at the county. Kwa hivyo sisi tumekuja tu kumwambia Solo scout wetu asafiri nyumbani salama. Na nataka nichukue nafasi hii kupongeza Kolanya Boys Primary wakiongozwa na head teacher wao daktari. Kwamba out of the more than 4,000 schools in western region wakati wa competition za western
Kolanya Boys iliweza kuibuka ikiwa namba 1 na wakaenda national kwa scouting. Sio ni maendeleo. Na patrol leader mwenye alipeleka hawa kule ni kijana hizo golsija ndugu wa Solo sijui yuko wapi. Ediga ndio huyu Ediga hizo gol ndiye alikuwa patrol leader wakienda kule Nairobi for national competitions. You can imagine adishule yetu itu hii kolanya hii ndi ilifika kule. Na Ediga alikuwa naondoka sasa mwaka huu ili aachie solo sasa achukue mantle ya kuwa patrol leader. Lakini ni kama atakuwa patrol leader kule nyumbani tutakapokutana na ye. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you Waziri. Kwa hivyo sasa naenda jamii ya Nat. Tafadhali Nat. Welcome. You will have, you will go through those protocols. We also have the school. Uh, kanisa letu, takatifu la salvation army. Uh, viongozi kutoka tabaka mbalimbali. Mbali. Na waombolezaji wote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu nipungie mkono tafadhali. Alafu kwa msalimu jirani wako kwa mwambie asante kwa kufika kuomboleza pamoja nasi. Basi ninashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya siku njema ambayo Bwana ameweza kuifanya. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Moit Alex, mwenyekiti katika chama chetu cha Kenya National Union of Teachers. Teso branch na kwa familia ningependa kusema ndugu wangu Jeremy pamoja na mke wake mjitie nguvu ni Mungu tu ndiye anaweza kuwafariji na yote yanatendeka kwa wema wa Mungu kwa wale wanaompenda so katika hali najua imekuwa changamoto ngumu lakini mtakapo mtegemea Mungu atawafariji atawatia nguvu na mtasonga mbele. Na kwa watoto Mungu aweze kuwafunika pia na utukufu wake. Basi singependa kupoteza muda, wacha nikaribishe executive secretary ambaye yuko hapa pamoja nasi aweze kutambulisha wengine na pia kutoa hotuba wake fupi kabisa. Karibu bwana executive secretary. <mulia> Ndugu Alex Moita ambaye ni mwenyekiti katika chama cha kutetea maslahi ya walimu Tawi la Teso Asanti kwa kazi nzuri ambayo unafanyia walimu wetu Kwanza kabisa ningetoa rambi rambi zangu kibinafsi na kama chama ili tuweze kuja kuomboleza na ndugu wetu na dada wetu Mwalimu wenzetu mmoja anapofiwa nasi sote tumefiwa. That's why we are here. Before I make my remarks, kindly allow me bring in all the teachers who have come here to mourn with our brothers and our sister. Tafadhali wale walimu ambao bado wako kazini na wale ambao wame staff Kwa siku moja ulisema good morning ama good afternoon bila kujua huu mtoto lala njia mtoto akasema good morning sir with our brother hebu tusimame tusimame na tu, tuje hapa tu tafadhali scouts have walked at anazi just to make a circle all the teachers kindly walimu dakika moja tu tafadhali Please. 
Eh, tengeneza na good sako. Songa, songa, songa. Walimu wetu tafadhali. Walimu oe. Wonderful, wonderful. Now ban kidogo. Ban kidogo. Our now. Teachers, we normally sing our solidarity song together. I want our DJ to give us that song, please. Solidarity. Solidarity just stanza one, stanza two, we are done. Am I part? Is it okay? Shikana Mikono Tafadali. inspiration and through the workers blood shall run there can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one but the union makes us strong solidarity forever solidarity forever solidarity forever for the union makes us strong. Solidarity! Plow the prairies, built the rest. cities where they trade, dug the mines and built the workshops, endless miles of railroads. Viongozi ya walimu tafadhali. Viongozi uote ya walimu. Tusali hapa tukumia dakambili tumalizie. Faridi, Education Scheme, BBS and Capture Leadership. Please. Na mwalimu mkuu shule ya Ngaro Primary mwalimu mkuu shule ya Kolanya pamoja na Rotama they should be part of this team kindly So you will allow me to take very few minutes to introduce those who are actually the leaders of the teachers in this Palagiven branch and also in Busia County. Allow me to start with those who are here, the Faridi team, once they are done, then education scheme, Kisha, BBS, Badai, Tapata, Walimwaku of the schools I mentioned, then the Kepsha, Tamalizi Wananad. I think and I believe that Faridi had already done the introduction. It is going to be more brief when the chairman kindly. Thank you, Vana Secretary. Faridi. Pasamong Peter Teso South. Asante. Oguti Omnyin Joseph Buhayo East. That's Nambale. Dick Onyango Samia South. Melda Modo, Teso Central. I'm straddling Teso North and Teso Central and Teso South. Um, Mudibo Samuel, Bunyala, Bunyala South. Clement Odiambo, Butula East. Kennedy Magoba, Samia North. Jackson Onyango, Butula West. Nyango Margaret, Buhaya West. Malalue Mojong, Horn Secretary. Luta Amuke, Teso North. Said Godfrey, Bunyala North, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Asanti, how are you? Faridi. Kindly, education scheme. Education scheme? Michael Ochode, in charge of Malaba. Education scheme. Uh, treasurer, education scheme. I'm Maurice Papa Itela. Katakwa Zone and Secretary of the, Secretary of the Scheme. I'm Bernard Amoit, Education Scheme, Angurai Zone Representative, Santenza. Itaru Fanis is my name, Representative Kocholia Zone, also Vice Chair. 
Thank you. Hawa ni education scheme mwalimu akitaka loan hawa ndio wangwana ambao wanashughulika nayo. Tafadhali wale ambao wanahusika na mambo ya maziko tafadhali karibu. Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Naitwa Okiru. Na mwalimu Okiru wakilisha walimu wa kata ya Chamasiri kwa BBS. Rest is solo. Noa Epong Angurai Zone representative BBS Poleni. Asante sana. Here we have three schools where mwalimu anafanya kazi na where madam anafanya kazi na where mtoto ambaye amelala alikuwa anafanya kazi. Hao watamalizia baada ya kesha kindly karibu ndugu. Uh, kanisa wambolezaji na wote ambao wamefika katika mazishi haya kwanza ningependa nitambue school administrators ambao wako hapa senior teachers deputies and head teachers wherever you are please rise up simama tu alafu tupungie solomon mkono thank you so much so i'm leaving stone okich the chairman kepsha teso not kuna wala ambao ninafanya kazi nao pia watasema moja mbili Petronila Onyadi head teacher Bungoma West Okring Jane Florence Kepsha Treasurer Kolanya Zone Ote Rose Kepsha Woman Rep Teso North Rest in peace solo Ejoy Tom, Kepsha Chairman Kolanya Son, Vice Secretary Kepsha Teso North. Rest in peace, Solo. Uh, Sumto Kalyo, Head Teacher Kangelemge Primary, Mweka Hazina, Kwa Kitengo Chawalimwe Kwaku, Kepsha, Death is a Mystery. I pray that the Prince of Peace rings in this home. Thank you. Kwaabio familia ifajiri, ifarijike na wacha solo apate amani ya Mungu asante thank you so much our leaders kindly kolanya daktari tafadhali karibu okay, asante sana katibu wetu wanat kwa majina naitwa Isapuke Caroline Ruth daktari mimi ndiye mwalimu wa Solomon Imwene kabla sijanena Uh, nitakosolewa sana iwapo sijasimamisha walimu wangu ambao walilea solo. Kwa hivyo ningependa tu wajonge hapa kwa haraka. Aha, na nitapeana mwalimu wa solo nafasi kidogo aweze kunena. Thank you. Quickly. Na hawa wakija anakuwa jamii ya shule si walimu tu si wanafunzi pekee kwa na bomb pia ningependa wasimame nyuma yao tuanze na ECD ECD mkijipanga mkijipanga ha anza tu jina jina tu jina tu jina tu alafu nitapeana Mr. Omuzi a kanisa andalizi waombolezaji kwa jumla anawasalimu bwana asifuwe a, kwa majina naitwa Omodi ya Paul a, mwalimu wa a, Solo naitwa Max Okati Stella Wafula Winnie Muendo Gladys Nahumicha Olunga Abige Omse David Joan Papa Ukatula Linet Jacqueline Ato, mama mlezi wa Solo katika grade ya nne. E kwanza kabisa ningependa kuleta ras, e, risala za rambi rambi kutoka kwa Madam Florence Toto ambaye pia amekuwa class teacher Solo akiwa grade 1 hadi grade 2 hayuko nasi kwa sababu ya masomo. Nimechukulia ulinzi wa Solo kuanzia grade 3 hadi wakati huu Mungu alipomchukua akiwa grade 4. Jinsi mnavyomuona Solo smile kwenye picha hivyo ndivyo Solo alivyokuwa na walimu wake. 
wakati mwingine kama amekosa kufanya kazi ya darasa hasa kwanza hesabu wakati madam Abigail amemuita ni smile tu solana anachapa hivyo tulikuwa tunamuuliza unahonga mwalimu kwa smile anaendelea kusmile hivyo tumepoteza solo wazazi wa solo poleni madam alinijulisha asubuhi monday tulipokuwa assembly niko na solo hospitali leo atakuwa kufika saa tatu usiku madam esna ananipigia simu solo hapumui yako icu kufika saa kumi asubuhi na 35 madam esna ananipigia solo ametuacha ikawa ni uzuni kwetu kama jamii ya shule mpaka hadi saa hizi tungali tunajiuliza maswali mengi ambayo maswali yake majibu yake hayapatikani otherwise soro rest in peace we shall miss santeni Wanyango Jiko, rest in peace solo. Wanyokoro Manyala Geoffrey, thank you. Na Hulo Stella, rest in peace solo. Peter Osala, rest in peace solo. Abugaku Jeska, rest in peace solo. Oksai Godric, rest in peace Solomon. Emeje Esnas. Eh asante sana madam daktari. Eh hapa mbele yenu ni board of management Kolanya Boys Boarding Primary School. Nafikiri watajitambulisha. And captain, I also expect you in front here. All the protocols are on. I'm called Michael Mateta. Huyu kijana mimi nilikuwa namuita bouncer. That was my name with him. Rest in peace, Solo. I'm Yuni Soshoromo member. Naito Pilo Reinhard, nimekuwa class rep yo grade 4. Sand. Okeme Robert bo member. Okol Esther macho ya serikali. Osangir Mary member. Captain Joseph Baraka sponsor. Dr. Sapuke Caroline secretary. Tuna mengi ya kusema tumehuzunika tumelea leo ni kusindikiza solo solo enenda kwa amani Just a minute, a minute you'll bear me uh, mimi ni mama ya wanafunzi Wacha nimalize please uh, mi, nimesema mimi ni mama ya wanafunzi mia saba na leo hii Nimebaki na watoto sita tisini na tisa. Nimepungukiwa na mmoja. Solo amekuwa mwanafunzi ambaye amekuwa outgoing. A jinsi ambavyo mmemtazama kwa sura yake, hivyo ndivyo alivyokuwa. Amekuwa mwana scout, ndiposa umeona ya kwamba Gwaride imeweza kumtunukia hiyo heshima. A ninge ingekuwa wakati ningezungumza mengi. Ningependa tu kusema maneno machache mbele yenu nataka kushukuru uh, wenzangu kuna wenzangu ningependa kuwatambua wanaweza tu simama nikitaja jina madam rosa madam rosa bai uh, madam jeno kring my sister miriam ningekuwa ningepewa nafasi ningemruhusu aje hapa seme neno uh, madam alice abwaku Uh, kama nimesahau wengine ambao tumekuwa nao kwa karibu sana katika msiba huu mtanisamehe bila kusahau the capture chair amekuwa akinipigia simu mara kwa mara kupata kujua tunaendelea namna Mr. Ijaka na shukuru kwa ukaribu wako pamoja na mke wako um, nataka kushukuru walimu wangu ambao wamewezesha shughuli hii kufanikiwa na shukuru the bomb na shukuru the support staff pamoja the learners fraternity walitambua eh, uwepo wa solo kati yao ndiposa wakaweza kutuunga mkono kwa he, najua nimesimamiwa hapa lakini nitazungumza kwa haraka uh, solo jinsi ambavyo amekuwa the cbc system is about nurturing the talents That's why you are finding that Solo was just rising up like a hero and here he goes. 
we say, may his soul rest in eternal peace. Bila kusahau, uh, nime wakati ndugu yangu alikuwa naongea kutoka ngambo Mr. Faris, alizungumzia kuhusu about the management of the school. Indeed, the structures are the way they were. He left there. They are still there. And I want to be thankful that he has uh, said something. And through that, he has now given me a leeway that I'll have to consult him. He gathers the Kolanya boys, alumni, so that they can change the face of the school. Uh, to the family, you are my children. It has not started today, although it's difficult. But what I, I want to advise you is, first of all, to accept before we move forward. I know muna omboleza jinsi shule yangu inavyo omboleza uchungu mulio nao ndio ule uchungu tulio nao. Kwa hivyo, Captain ingependa wakati utakuja kufanya ibada ijuma, iyo ijuma itakuwa ibada siyo ya kawaida, itakuwa ibada inayohusisha wanafunzi wote ili kuweza kuwafariji mioyo yao. Ningependa um, utakuwa na Biblia utasoma Galatians chapter 6 verses 2 ambapo inasema brothers and sisters we help lift one another's ba burden and I want to thank the teachers fraternity for having come together to lift our brothers and sisters burden and the same Kolanya fraternity's burden and lastly you'll also read about James chapter 1 verses 12 in Asema, happy are those who remain faithful under trials, such a like trials, because after they succeed, they will do what? After they will succeed, passing such a test, they will receive the reward of God. Thank you. Asante sana, Daktari. I know you are going to be a How I wish and pray so hard. Wale hambao waja nena watajaribu kuzingatia muda haituruhusu tafadhali najua madam rosemary anakuwa mfupi jinsi yeye alivyo mfupi karibu kanisa takatifu la salvation army wanangu jeremia na slesa ambao wamempoteza mjukuu wangu wote ambao umepata nafasi kufika mahali hapa bwana asifiwe naitwa mama rosemary omanyala the principal wa tama primary and junior secondary Na kwa eshima ya kanisa, I'll be very brief. Slesa, die mwanangu pale ruatama. Na tumekuja kama familia ya ruatama. Mukiangalia kule mwisho, wale wamevalia sare kama nguwe ya tata hapa. Ni watoto wa ruatama. Mpunga mkono kama mnasikia tata. Ndiyo wale pale na wengine wako hapo kwa tenti. Eh, pia, Slesa is aware the whole team is here Walimu wengine wamepewa kazi Wale ambao wako na wazazi na board of management Nikitamua nimeona wenye kiti wawili wote wako pale mzee jaka Just stand kwa hiyo ishima That is the PTA chair Baba Shem Kwa board in charge of discipline Mr. Ngeiwa The vice bomb Standing in for Mr. Lena Domachar, who's the chair, and all the board members. So many too, hallelujah. Asante. Najua ata wazazu wako hapa. Kwa hivyo toto, be consoled, be condoled. Kwa mba sisi wote tuko hapa. Madada zako na wandugu zako walimu wote wako hapa. Badi ya hii shere, we shall be just be here. E, jambo lingine ni kwamba e, shule ya rutama. Hey, nime, nimeona chairman wa academics chief najua mtaja upande ule mwingine lakini simama tu katika board is the chairman wa academics asante kudhuria kwa hivyo sisi tumeleta tu rambi rambi zetu kama walimu family ruatama wanafunzi na wazazi na community yote madam slesa is even a member of the ruatama welfare association na tunajua tuko hapa kukupea moyo mjitie nguvu mungu awabariki sana Asanti lakini umeruka mpaka. Asanti. <coughs> Kanisa tukufu la Salvation Army. Familia ya ndugu, jaramia pamoja na Slesa. 
kwa mpolezaji wote kwa ujumla makiwa mimi nitakuwa kwa mstasari zaidi kwa sababu ya muda the all of angurai eastward najua wako hapa pungeni mikono kwa hewa angurai eastward wakiwemo watoto wa ngaro school pamoja na walimu langu tu ni kusema kwa familia poleni niko na historia ndevu sana na ndugu wangu amke na siwezi nikasema hayo eh, darasa la solo limekuwa darasa langu kule Kolanya Boys na kwa hivyo kama lumi na wa Kolanya Boys taungana na mwalimu mkuu kuna kwamba shule hiyo imebadilika asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza asanti sasa ni bi sister fadhali muda naona kanisa inatusukuma kabisa Jina tu tafadhali na kazi ambayo unafanya. Asante. Katibu, jina langu naitwa Nixon Oteba. Nikiwa BC wa Magoro. Kwa hivyo kutoka Magoro, walimu tunaleta rambi rambi kwa niaba yao. Kwa hivyo ndugu yangu Jerry na Slesa Poleni. Jina langu Alex Iteba. BC Angurai Division. Pia nafunza na mwalimu Slesa. Ninasema hivi be comforted in the Lord and may God give you strength. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <coughs> Mimi ni Kisai Shadrach niko nyumbani ndio sababu naomba radhi kwa mkubwa sijavaa nguo rasmi kwa sababu niko nyumbani. Kwa hivyo nasema my grandchild Solomon may you rest in peace Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bi Mase Rose nikiwa mweka zina katika chama Safiri salama msalimu Maulana tutaona na baadaye Ndio Ndio Safiri salama msalimu Maulana tutaonana baadaye Asante Kwa mara nyingine naitwa Moit Alex mwenyekiti katika chama Nikirudi pale kwa ndugu blessed is the man who trust upon the Lord tegemee Bwana kwa yote Asante sana ndugu zangu the church present here ombolezaji wote tutaamini kwamba hata nasi walimu tuko ndani ya kanisa mahali ambapo upo sema amen nimeona white hapa nikaona kwamba walimu wako ndani ya kanisa ikiongozwa na ndugu na dada yule ambaye hajaonekana kwa kanisa lolote kama mwalimu mimi kama kiongozi wenu tafadhali tafuta moja ambayo unaweza shikilia. Tafuta moja ambayo unaweza fanya nini? Huyu leo ambaye tumekuja kumzika ametuonyesha mwelekeo mahali ambapo alikuwa anaitikia wito wake. Kuhudumu kama mwana scouti. Hata nawe mwalimu kama upatikani music, upatikani drama Upatikani scouting tafuta mahali upatikane mahali pale amen Today we are mourning a young one As we mourn the young one we are learning something The attendance of the teachers present here today the church nataka kusema unapotembea na wenzako vizuri wakati ambapo unapata pia msiba wanakutembelea mwalimu pamoja na madam thank you so much for working with other teachers leo hii mimi kama mtetezi katika chama cha kutema maslahi ya walimu sina mambo mengi ya kunena ila kusema mtoto wetu safiri salama huyu ni mwana malaika lakini katika safari yake nasi kama watu ambao umesalia duniani tuweze kutahimini ni kipi kizuri ambacho natekeleza 
duniani ambayo inafurahisha wengine. Jinzi huyu mtoto alipokuwa katika scout. Nasi kama walimu which type of quality job are you delivering to that young child that God has entrusted you to serve? What service are you delivering to that community that the country, the teacher service commission has entrusted you as a head teacher, as a teacher to serve and save the community? We are mourning our son. Ningependa kuomba wazazi wetu. Let us support shule zetu. Walimu wakupa moja na wazazi wakishikana pamoja. Kazi nzuri itapatikana. Kwa hivyo nataka kuhimiza wamwelezaji wote ambao wamefika mahali hapa. Tushikana walimu wetu waku na tufanye kazi kwa pamoja. Ili tuweze kupata matokeo mazuri. Na hao watoto ambao tufunza vizuri. Hawa nao watafanya sisi tuonekane mahali ama namna gani That is the spirit and the teachers let us deliver our services God is watching us every day you wake up and go to class and say good morning If you mislead a child today in that class you are teaching huyo mtoto atakuja kuangamiza the community Let us deliver our services well as I come to conclusion, Kanisa Tafadali, Mimi Nikiva uniform ya green, Kunandugu Zetu ambao walitangulia katika chama. And I've seen some of them are here. Itakuwa tabiambaya yuwapo sitaweza. Kwa kisha kwamba wamesimama. Watanipiga, vi, watanipiga mawe. Ndugu Olubai, Tafadali, pamoja na our senior Ndugu Lubaya alikuwa mwenyekiti wa chama cha kutia maslahi ya walimu Asante sana for the work you did Hizo nyumba ambazo mnaona magoro through the leadership of that gentleman Ndugu Osia executive secretary number 1 is here with us Thank you so much Madam tafadhali simama Hata kama umekataa kusimama mtakusimamisha Madam Miriam alikuwa the first woman rep Ndugu Chairman ambaye tulikuwa na hapo tafadhali Scout Bravo Thank you so much Huyu ndiye alikuwa ametupatia Then my brother a very humble gentleman hana maneno Unajua ukiwa treasurer and treasurer asante sana Nikimalizia Sisi kama walima tuna maneno Sisi tunahudumia kazi yetu na tutahakikisha kwamba tunatekeleza wajibu wetu kama walimu kwa sababu ni wito Muniruhusu ni ite muajiri wetu Mbae ni Teacher Service Commission That's represented by our brother The CSO Who will now bring in The principal of the boys Who is here with us Na wali Na tembelea Na tembelea Ni Yesu ni vimbo Yesu ni vimbo Na tembelea Na tembelea Na tembelea Zingatiwa, buwana asifiwe Naitu wa Masai Representing the Teacher Service Commission On behalf of the sub-county director Mr. Benadi Wabuoba On behalf of Madam Marangach who are held up somewhere. Uh, we understand for the teachers that our county director retired yesterday and there's that, there was that process of handing and taking over. So the sub-county directors are involved there. Uh, on behalf of um, the CSO Colonia Zone, who is not feeling well, I have just come to present, to bring their condolences to the family. The office is entirely aware of what is happening. And uh, we are very sorry for what has happened. And I believe that what 
affects one teacher affects all of us. We are in those offices because of the children we are bringing up and if one of them is lost, it is a, a problem to all of us. I want to thank I want to thank the teachers for turning up in numbers. The church and other mourners, I think you can bear with us that teachers are here in numbers. Mara nyingi huwa mnasikia tu wakiimba solidarity kwa TV. Ama wakitembea kwa barabara wakienda kwa ofisi zetu huko wakiimba solidarity na matawi but this is the real solidarity. Us is affected despite being a school day. Unajua nilika hapo karibu nijiulize na watu wote leo nana na nafunza. But nikafikiria pia hata mimi siku moja pia mimi niko njiani. Kwa hivyo hata mimi nikienda najua watakuja. So thank you so much for coming uh, in numbers and for Luta and Celeste. I think we have known each other for long. There is one thing I want you people to know that in your days of power whatever you do to other peoples in your days of power will become your retirement benefit whatever you do to other people in your days of power will become your retirement benefit population tells us something whether we are doing good or we are doing bad be explained mama mmoja alikuwa anaitwa dorikasi alipokuwa amekufa watu wengi walikuja kuona na walikuja kumlia kwa sababu ya matendo ambayo alikuwa akiyafanya as a community let's do good to others kwa sababu matendo yetu yatatufuata sisi wenyewe may the good go god protect us all cover us and may the soul of solo rest in peace may i take this opportunity to invite the principal kolanya boys to pass a message of condolence karibu sana mwalimu asante mimi naitwa Anga Jafet naibwa mwalimu mkuu shule ya upili ya Vlana Kolanya niko hapa kwa niaba ya mwalimu mkuu ambaye alipania kuhudhuria hafla hii lakini amepata wito wa dharura na kwa hivyo ameniagiza nije kumwakilisha a uh, Nikiangalia kikao hiki nina mawili au matatu ya kusema. Kwanza sisi kama walimu tunajivunia mazao ya mikono yetu. Na shule ya, up, ya wavulana ya msingi ya Kolanya imekuwa shule ya kutegemewa sana katika kutupa wanafunzi pale Kolanya Boys High School. Na labda ili kufanya uelewe ni nini ninasema wanafunzi wanaotoka shule ya Kolanya Boys Boarding Primary wakija Kolanya Boys High School wanakuwa school captains, head boys tunaelewana kwa hivyo ukiangalia uongozi ambao solo amekuwa nao kwetu tulikuwa tumeona kama ni njia ile ile ambayo tunafuata hata hivyo mipango ya Mungu haina dosari nataka kuambia tu kwamba neema ya Mungu itoshe tuko hapa kama jamii ya Kolanya Boys High School tumewakilishwa katika hali tofauti tofauti na nadhani kwa 
muda sitaweza kuwataja lakini kuna members of the bomb kuna walimu kuna wafanyakazi na kwa kawaida kikao kama hiki pia hakikosi wazazi sote tunasema poleni kwa famii wa Mungu awabariki Thank you sir to the family of Solomon kanisa yetu ya salvation kolanya family kolanya community bwana sifiwe to the scouts bravo nimemjua Solomon nimetembea na yeye kama huu ni ujumbe kutoka Kolanya Girls I'm standing here as the chief principal Kolanya Girls National School in acting capacity Ayuko amefika mahali kidogo to our, our colleague teachers poleni sana Mungu aiweke roho ya Solomon mahali pema ni mtoto amekuwa matunda Mungu akishuka anavuna tunda lililoiva Tumshukuru Mungu kwa maana ametenda wakati wetu ukifika nasi tutasherekea mbarikiwe Thank you Kolanya girls and Kolanya boys so much for your contribution towards the send of solo wakati huu nataka band ilete kaka zake na dada zake solo kisha nitaomba kanisa italeta mama na baba wa solo na kabla baba na mama wa solo waje ningependa matari muwe tayari kuwaleta matari mtakuwa tayari kuleta baba na mama wacha band tulete kaka zake Thank you. Ah ndio kaka zake Solo. Solo alikuwa hapa mwisho. Kwa hivyo kama utakuwa na courage tuongea. Sawa. Praise God. Kwa majina ni Edgar Sogol. Franklin Idewa. Rest in peace Solo. Inyapur Juliet. Rest is the champ. kanisa takatifu wageni wetu wote hamjambo uh, kwa majina ni Martha Akwede first born wa kina Solo Solo alikuwa mtoto mwaminifu Solo alikuwa mtoto mwenye tunampenda sisi sote kuanzia kwa baba hadi kwa Ediga Solo alikuwa mtoto mchangamfu. Solo ndio mwenye alikuwa anafanya boma iwe active. Bila Solo kwa boma hatuoni kitu. Bila Solo kwa boma ni kama boma ina mtoto. Bila Solo kwa boma boma si boma. ilikuwa kama mama ametoka ama baba sola kwa na amani 
ikiwa yeyote yule ni mgonjwa sola kwa na amani ikiwa baba ametoka Martha mpigie baba ikiwa mama ametoka Martha mpigie mama ikiwa Martha ametoka Amina mpigie Martha ikiwa Amina ametoka Martha mpigie Amina Tulikuwa tunampenda solo Ikiwa tunajaribu kutoka kwenda madukani Martha tanletea chipo Sasa hivi nitaletea nani Ikiwa sola menda shule Martha leo utakuja kunichukua Mara hii nitaenda kuchukua nani Tulimpenda solo Solo akiona Edgar na Frank wameenda kucheza hadi na yeye anakuja aombe ruhusa kama mama na, ma, na baba hawapo Martha hata na mimi nataka niende nicheze Pasipo ruhusa yangu ikiwa ni Juliet njako hata hakikisha ameomba hiyo ruhusa ndio atoke kwa sasa nani atatuomba ruhusa Edgar alikuwa akitoka kwenda kanisa wakiwa pamoja Edgar anamtayarisha jioni Solo kesho uamuke asubuhi na mapema Solo atakuja niambie niweke alarm staki Edgar niache Nitahakikisha nimeka alarm akisema saa 12 ni saa 12 akisema saa moja ni saa moja. Hiyo alarm ikilia tu hivi na naamka. Ama akiona Edgar akiona alarm imechelewa anakuja na Bisha. Ni mimi nilikuwa nalala na yeye. Martha muamushe solo. Sasa hivi Edgar atakuwa na muamusha nani? Tumempenda solo lakini Mungu amempenda zaidi. Solo nenda salama lakini jua ya kuwa sisi kama dadako na ndugu zako wazazi wako bado tunakupenda. Ni hayo tu. Asante kwa ujaziri huo natumai mtakuwa na nguvu hata kama solo hatakuwa kwa hivyo matari tafadhali sijui mko wapi nilikuwa natarajiwa mume msimama matari bando cheze tukungoja matari
kwenye kwangu Mwana ufalume wa mbinguni ni wao wisi watulie Alionyesha upendo kwa watoto Alionyesha upendo kwa watoto Mtoto mwenzio mwone kama mtoto wako Enacha gani pole pole usije kubanga mtoto mbele Mtoto mwenzio mwone kama mtoto wako
ya wanzio muone kama mtoto wako mtoto wa mwenzio umetoka shule usimchangane mtoto wa mwenzio muone kama mtoto wako mtoto wa mwenzio mtie moyo aweze kusoma mtoto wa mwenzio muone kama mtoto wako mtoto wa mwenzio usimchangane na chipsi ya machoma mtoto wa mwenzio muone kama mtoto wako mtoto wa mwenzio muone kama wako wako mtoto wa mwenzio muone kama mtoto wako Usemi emeni unataka kusema nini? Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Walimu Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Wamesema muende kanisani. Si mimi nimesema kiongozi wenu. Haya itend. Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Kama una uwezo wa kusimama simama. Na nataka nione Jeremiah na Silesa mkicheza. Jana ulisema Mungu amekupa nguvu. Tunataka Mungu akupe hiyo nguvu ili utuambie mambo ya solo. Umesikia Jeremiah? Usinione mdogo hivi mimi ni mama ya Jeremiah. Haya piga makofi sasa. Kama una kucheza cheza yeye. Chichi 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 chichi
Kanisa andalizi walimu wageni wote wa solo nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kuwasalimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo hamjambo ham tena ham nimefurahi sana asubuhi ya leo kwa sababu mmekuja kusimama pamoja nasi nina nguvu kwa sababu nimewaona nimejua ya ukweli kwamba mnanipenda sio kwamba mlikuwa mnapenda solo peke yake lakini mlikuwa mnatupenda sisi sote uh, kwanza kabla sijaanza unenaji kuhusu solo nataka tu kutambua watu wachache mimi nilitoka kwetu nikakuja na kujiunga na jamii mpya na labda kabla, kabla sijasimamisha kuna wale walikuja nyuma kuna wengine walikuwa wametangulia nataka kwanza kuchukua nafasi hii najua tangu haya mambo yatokee huenda ikawa nimekasirika nimekwazika ama wewe umenikwaza umenikasirikia nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwanza kuomba msamaha kwa yeyote ambaye nimeweza kuwaruzana na yeye ama nimeweza kumkasirisha kwa sababu hata Biblia inasema kabla hujatoa sadaka ni lazima uombe jirani yako, uombe ndugu yako msamaha ndio sadaka yako iweze kukubaliwa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa hivyo ikiwa nilikukanyaga mahali nasema pole sana, unisamehe na mimi nimekuachilia kwa roho safi. Ah, nikianza nataka nisimamishe wazazi wangu, kuna wale walikuja nyuma jinsi mliambiwa baba yangu amepofuka na ni mdhaifu hawezi akafika hapa Aa, kuna wale ndugu zake walikuja nyuma nataka tu kutambua hawatanena watapunga tu papa aboli nilikuona ukiingia sijui yuko wapi na mama regina niliwaona mkiingia asante sana papa karibuni sana pili pia Aa, mimi nilizaliwa kwa ukoo ya ikajoro na wajomba wangu waka happen kuwa ndio wajomba wa my mother in law. Kwa hivyo tunashea wajomba. Nataka kutambua ukoo wa mama yangu, ukoo wa Imare, niliona wajomba wangu pamoja na wajomba wa my mother in law wakiingia. Nataka tu musimame, hamtanena kwa sababu ya muda. Sijui wameketi wapi wajomba wangu pamoja na kina Kamur. Asanteni sana kwa kufika. Mujue hapa mko na icheni ni mara mbili, mko na icheni mtoto na mko na icheni basakwa. Ah tatu a, watu wameongea katika vito, vitengo tofauti tofauti. Solo hakuwa na mama mmoja. Ni mimi tu ndio nilimzaa lakini amelelewa na akina mama wengi. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii pia kuitisha my co-wives ambao wamekuwa wakinisaidia kulea solo. Kama siko So wao ndio walikuwa nalea solo. Ama solo akijisikia leo mama amepiga kelele sana, anahepa. Anakimbia kwa hao mama zake kwa sababu hao wanambembeleza. Mimi si kwa nambembeleza sana. Morin, Grace, Karo. Tuarakishe kidogo. Hata nyinyi mna ushuhuda kuhusu solo kwa sababu alikuwa mtoto wetu. Haswa Grace, solo alikuwa nakupenda sana, sana sana. Na ninaomba kwamba siku hii ikuwe ni turning point kwa sababu ya solo. 
kuonyesha upendo wa solo kuonyesha kwamba wewe ulikuwa unapenda solo let it be a turning point Habari zenu kwa majina naitwa Morina Nyango Kwa majina naitwa Morina Nyango Mimi ni anti ya solo na nakumbuka nilipo kuja kwa hii boma Slesa alinikaribisha na niliposikia solo amekufa moyo wangu ulivunjika sana Haya sina mengi ya kusema. Kenye naweza kusema Slesa na J. Kweni na moyo. Mungu ako na sababu zake. Na solo. May you rest in peace. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Kwa majina naitwa Carol uh, Ejakate. Uh, solo is my nephew. He was at my place on Friday. I came and took a shule. And there were three of them. Um, Alkwana, Adrian, uh, and Denzel. Those ones are my sons. So, uh, Nikamuliza wakati amefika kwangu, I was watering my flowers. Aka anapita. By the time he sees my gate is open, he usually comes and say hi to aunt. So, um, Solo came. Then I was like, tukiwa pamoja tumezoeana. Then I was like, um, daddy, kwa nini unatembea na the scholars? Haka niambia auntie, haoni venye nimekonda. Hata mama amesema nimekonda, ni kuje nyumbani ni kule kule ndio ni rudi. <laughs> so I said, um, umefanya vizuri daddy. Mkuje mkule kule na wenzenu akinedrian. By the time we'll be going back um, in boarding, mutenda na wenzako. Now it was on a Saturday and I had just arrived. Um, nikawa niko na shuguli, nafanya fatigue. Yeah. Um, nika nini, nika, nika pigiwa na simu, they are supposed to be some on Sunday. So nika, nika wambia, mimi I won't manage, I will release my sons to go. So even do walienda hiyo Sunday and hiyo uh, accident ika patikana. So lo, we shall miss you a, a, a lot, daddy. Uh, rest in eternal peace. We shall meet again. Thank you. Asante ni kuja kuomboleza nasi. Asante kanisa, shemejangu, selesa. Asante kwa nguvu hiyo ambayo mkonayo na mungu wata wacha. God bless you abundantly. The SA Church family teachers, friends, uh, wanafunzi waliokuwa wanasoma na solo, na kila moja liya hapa, hamjambo. I'm a bit emotional bado, because solo's death shocked me. Wakati, nitaombo nionge kwa kizungu kidogo, because uh, my kiswahili is very bad. The way it's Ama. Luos are good at English. So, tumpe na fasiyo. Amatieno diambo. I was the second mother to Solo. Solo you had a path here that they would run through here na watoto wangu. In two minutes, wamefika kuangu. Utafikiria wanacheza hapo nje. The next minute, wamerudi huku. Nata mimi, anytime my children would be missing, the first person I would call was Lesa. Nata niambia watoto wako kuwao. Na hae pia kipiga simu, solo hayuko nyumbani, atajua tu ninajua kukuwao. Solo's death shocked me. Nakumbuka when Steve called me that morning to tell me solo ameku. I spoke in my mother tongue. They say that in deep pain and in great joy, all other languages disappear. Zilipotea. And I was asking very difficult questions in the law. I don't know who I was talking to. Then the next task was to break this news to my children. Because Solo and Neville were one thing. 
Nataka niseme kwamba we have lost a great leader. If Solo had a chance to live his life, I'm sure by age 30 he would have achieved much more than I have achieved today. Because at that tender age, Solo is in scouts. Solo is thing I know about Solo is that Solo could bond with everyone. Despite his young age, he knew how to talk to me. He knew how to talk to his age mates. And there is no single day I had mtoto akiniambia, Mom, Solo amenichokoza. Never. You'd never hear that. Solo was always smiling. I don't know what I would say about Solo. But I want to thank all of you for giving Solo this kind of respect on his last day. The scouts, the pupils, the teachers, every one of you who has come to help us see off Solo. Thank you. Martha, Juliet, and the two small boys. I know you're asking very hard questions in your hearts right now. Can't see them there, but I know they can hear. Oh, yeah. I know you're asking yourselves very hard questions right now. I know this is not fair, but I want to assure you that one day it shall be well. It will not be today, it will not be tomorrow. This pain will live for some time. But as you walk through the pain, I want you to remember that you have a family that you can rely on, and you have a church that you can talk to. One day you will learn to live with the pain. It never goes away, but we learn to live with it. Slesa, you have lost a child at his prime age. And right now I know you are looking strong and you are feeling strong. But at the end of this, after we are all gone, the truth might come down. I want you to know we are together in this. God has a reason why everything happens the way they do. And I want to assure you that we are all in this with you. Jeremiah, you have been strong through all this. I actually didn't expect to see the kind of strength I've seen in you today. But I know it's because of these three, four children. I know if you were to break down now, I don't know what would have happened to them. But I also want you to remember that it is okay. It is okay. Tomorrow is another day. Thank you. Santen sasa mnaweza kukaa chini. Sawa sawa. Tumpe tumpe madam wanene sasa. Walimu. Good. Sujii kelele ni ya nini? Tulia tulia tupatie mama ya solo nafasi. Aya nataka unisikize na unisikize kwa makini. Nasema nataka unisikize ikiwa unazungumza nataka unisikize na unisikize kwa makini. Uh, pia ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii ku recognize a few people before I talk about solo. Nataka kushukuru sana Captain Baraka. Amekuwa wa msaada sana tangu solo alipogonjeka alikuwa akiniombea hata solo akienda theater aliomba hata Sola akiwa theater alikuja akaomba na hata wakati ule Sola ali pass on alipata news aliacha usingizi yake na akakimbia bungoma captain wacha Mungu wa amani akubariki pia nataka kumshukuru kuwashukuru my uncles hawakuona kwamba sisi ni watoto lakini wamekesha kwangu usiku na mchana kuhakikisha kwamba kazi ya solo imekamilika vizuri Anko Gideon, Anko Peter, Anko Esoko wacha Mungu wa amani awabariki sana. Pia my mother's in law. Thank you so much. You have been there for me. You have been uh, encouraging me. Nasema tu wacha Mungu wa amani awabariki sana. Licha ya kwamba mumekuwa tu nyumbani majuzi na mahali muko ni mbali sana. Lakini hamukuona kwamba ni mbali kwa sababu ya upendo wa solo muliweza kusafiri tena kurudi hapa. Anti Julia Sante sana, Anti Karo, Anti Phyllis pamoja na Mama Miriam asanteni sana. <coughs> uh, iwapo sita kutambua pia nataka kutambua walimu wote wakiongozwa na my head teacher, head teacher Kolanya Boys, the head teacher Angaro. Wamekuwa wa msaada sana. Ingekuwa tu kwingine ama ingekuwa wakati mwingine uh, sasa hii ningekuwa nimeshaambiwa niandike compassionate uh, compassionate leave 
lakini nataka kushukuru my head teacher amekuwa hapa na hapa kila siku hakuna siku amekosa licha ya kuwa she is my mother and she is also my mother in law yeye ni anti wa jeremia na tukirudi kajoro pia ni mama yangu amekuwa wa msaada sana ah muniruhusu sasa nizungumze machache kuhusu solo jinsi nilivyosema jana kwa kuwa solo alikuwa mtoto a child of his own ni mtoto mwenye angeza kukalisha wengine chini na wazungumzie na wakamsikiza solo alikuwa na darasa hapo nyuma hapa tu nyuma hapo kuna uwanja ya darasa na sijui wale watu alikuwa na wafundisha unajua tangu haya mambo yatokee hawajawahi kanyaga kwangu wanauzunika sana na ninaona mtu mwenye atakuwa affected sana kuna mtoto mjukuu wa hii boma anaitwa Chris huyo ndio mtoto mwenye atakuwa affected sana kwa sababu solo anytime atakuwa na Chris ukimuuliza umetoka wapi nimekuwa na Chris akiona chote kwa nyumba ambayo uh, yeye anaweza kupeana mtu wa kwanza mwenye anakuja kwa akili yake ni Chris he was a very generous boy hata saa zingine wanaiba tu hata uniform anaiba tu na kupelekea ukimuuliza uniform iko wapi mama si nilipatia Chris so he was caring and very generous solo was outgoing the way many have said yeye akitaka kufanya kitu atatulia tu iwapo ametekeleza na kama haja tekeleza kitu ambacho alikuwa anatarajia kuifanya hatakuwa na amani na hata sisi hatutakuwa na amani akitaka tumfanyie kitu hatutakuwa na amani mpaka tumfanyie kile kitu alikuwa anatarajia tumfanyie solo alikuwa anapita vile grace amesema alikuwa anapita hapa hata saa moja ya usiku. Solo atapita hapa katikati. The next minute unauliza at mimi niko kwetu. Ukipiga tu simu wakina Nicole wamekuwa na simu yao nyumbani hata kama Grace yuko. Saa zingine wanapiga simu wananiambia anti, Solo yuko hapa usimtafute. Saa zingine wajiibe waende kwa Karo. Na sikuwa ninawakataza. Hao watoto wamebond vizuri sana na ninatumai ya kwamba Uh, wale wenye wamebaki mtaendelea kubond pamoja kama vile Solo alikuwa na bond Solo alikuwa industrious Hapo tuko na projects kadha wa kadha lakini Solo muka asubuhi kabla hajaenda shule wakati nimemrudisha nyumbani anauliza mama nguruwe tumepatia chakula mama umeosha vyombo vya kuku Mama na sungura nana atapatia chakula unajua Frank yuko shule nana atapatia sungura chakula So he was industrious hata kama alikuwa kwa hizo vitu vingine lakini pia alikuwa anajua ya kwamba akienda shule rudi anatakikana ale chakula kizuri na kuhakikisha kwamba nakula chakula kizuri tu ni kwamba anahakikisha the projects are running So tumepoteza mtu wa kutukumbusha kazi ya kila siku inaitwa side hustle sababu kitegemea paisley peke yake hautasonga na siku moja solo akawa atuchekesha baba yao aliwaambia baba yao alikuwa amekasirika kidogo walikuwa wamefanya makosa akawaambia mimi hakuna mali nitapatia mtie yote mimi mali ambayo nitakupatia ni elimu ambayo ninakupa kwa hivyo msiangalie mali ambayo niko nayo kama ni ngombe, kama ni shamba, kama ni nyumba, hakuna kitu nitapatia mtu. Na hata ikiwezekana mkiendelea kunisumbua, ninaweza uza yote nibakisha sehemu kidogo yenye mimi na mama yenu tunaweza kaa. Na kusema kitu. Baada ya baba yake kuondoka, akakuja akaniuliza mama, baba alikuwa anamaanisha nini? Nikamwambia si umesikia baadaye akaniambia mama lakini inawezekana <laughs> nikamwambia inawezekana kama mnasumbua itawezekana akaniambia mama siwezi kuruhusu baba auze mali yake lakini mimi nitawaongezea akaniambia unaona hii nyumba yenu hata inakaa tu vibaya vibaya mimi nikipata kazi nitawajengea nyumba kubwa kubwa 
na nitaweka lami kutoka kwa barabara hadi nyumbani kwa hivyo nimepoteza lami yangu nyumba yangu enda ikawa itabaki hivyo labda wale wengine wanitengenezee kwa hivyo solo alikuwa na wasiwasi wakati anapoambiwa kwamba unafanya makosa hangeweza kurudia tena hilo kosa alikuwa naogopa kurudia kosa Aa, na yeye alikuwa pia solo alikuwa mpatanishi kwa boma vile mata amesema yeye hangeweza kuondoka kama mimi siko kama mimi niko anaweza kuhepa kwenda kwa nyanya yake kuhepa kwenda kwa nko wake lakini kwenda kucheza hawezi hepa atakuja kuambia mama nitaka kwenda kucheza kwa kina Chris na ndivyo vile mata alisema kwamba solo alikuwa anapenda sana kumuomba ruhusa na wakati mwingi akiomba ruhusa na mata mwenyewe anamwambia pigia mama simu basi na kweli mata angenipigia simu na ningemwambia mruhusu aende kwa hivyo solo amekuwa mpatanishi kwa sababu gani yeye akiona baba yake amekasirika sana anarudi kwangu ananiambia mama ambia baba waache kukasirika hivyo najua tumefanya makosa lakini ambia yeye tu awache kukasirika ama atatafuta mwenyewe mbinu yake aende mu approach atangoja siku ya leo iishe na kesho hata kosa kitu ya kuuliza baba yake na yeye vile vile vile, uh, vile karame sema kwamba alisema yeye amerudi nyumbani kwa sababu amekonda sio kwa sababu amekonda mimi niliona tu hiyo nyumba itakuwa kubwa na nitakuwa lonely kwa sababu lakini yeye anapenda sana nyama ya nguruwe na anytime angetaka wengine wangetaka kukula hiyo nyama wanapita kwake wanamwambia pigia yako baba simu atunulie leo ichulu na yeye angetaka tu simu dakika kumi haitapita Joshua anapiga honi kwa geti imefika na wengine wanafurahi pia angeweza tu kutoka leo baba yake amekuwa mkala amewapigia kelele na sio rais baba yao kuwapigia kelele sio rais hata wasikie sauti ya baba yao lakini anapoona baba yake amekasirika atatafuta mbio kuja the following day amwambie baba nataka kitu fulani anataka tu kuwei kama baba baada amekasirika ama hapana na yeye akiuliza baba yake amwambie ah saa hii sina pesa anajua hasira imefanya nini imepungua kwa hivyo solo alikuwa mpatanishi tu alikuwa anataka kuona kwamba kila mmoja anaishi kwa amani <coughs> Na angeweza kupa uh, sola alikuwa msiri sana. Unajua kuwa na watoto adolescents saa zingine huwa inakuwa ni changamoto. Lakini wanaweza toka na hao wasichana wafike mbali. Lakini hautawahi sikia akisema tumetoka mahali fulani. Never. Hata sijui walikuwa nampatia dawa gani. Hawezi. Hata ushike tu kiboko umwambie solo leo nitakuchapa. Anasema tu mama si tumekuwa tu kwa jana hapa madukani na inaisha hivyo. Kwa hivyo hakuwa napenda mimi nikipigia dada zake kelele. Na niambia mama, ah we naye. Wacha kupiga piga kelele saa yetu. Hiyo ni vitu tu ya kawaida. So unaona vile yeye hakuwa napenda ugomvi. Ah nimemaliza ushuhuda wa solo. Ninaweza ongea mambo ya solo hadi jioni. The last thing solo aliuliza kwa wale walikuwa jana niliwaeleza. The last thing Solo aliuliza there are two th things Solo aliuliza baba yake yeye anataka kuwa basketballer kando na kuwa scout na baba yake akamwambia wewe unataka mpira ya basketball iko hapo uwanja So the following day wakati tulipotoka nyumbani mimi pia nilienda shughuli zangu baba yake naye akaenda shughuli zake ilikuwa tu holiday ya juzi kabla hawajafungua Jioni niliporudi Sola ananiambia leo babake kuja nitamuuliza mpira. Mimi nishatengeneza uwanja. Na ukiangalia pale labda we, wale wenye watapata nafasi ya kuingia kwenye compound kuna posti hapo mahali na imewekwa mpaka na ring. Na sikuwahi jua hiyo ring ilitolewa wapi. Kumbe wameenda kuiba waya yangu ya kuanika nguo si kwa nimeifunga na wameitwine imetengeneza ring. Kwa hivyo unaona vile Solo alikuwa anapenda kazi yake. Na baba yake alipokuja alimwambia baba niko na uwanja sasa kazi kwako mpira 
na sola ameenda kabla hajanunuliwa mpira. Kitu cha pili nye sola aliniomba, aliniambia mama boarding ulikuwa nilipia pesa mingi. Lakini mimi nimeamua na roho yangu yote kurudi nyumbani kwa sababu mimi sijapenda we ukae peke yako hautakuwa unapika. Akaniambia mama sasa kitu yenye utafanya badala ya wewe kulipa shilingi istini kila siku kunipeleka shule na kurudi ninunulie tu baisikeli ya shilingi elfu tatu. Hiyo itakuokoa miaka tatu yenye nitakuwa day school. Alafu ukinipeleka boarding school nitaenda St Peter's. So utakuwa umesave pesa ya kunipeleka St Peter's na solo ameenda kabla sijamnunulia baisikeli. Ah wacha nirudi katika upande wa ugonjwa nimemaliza ushuhuda wa solo solo ilikuwa ni sunday tulienda mimi nilienda kanisani hiyo saturday jioni kuna cousin wake anaitwa jaden na jojo sisi tumezoea kumuita jojo kale kasichana kadogo kalikuwa kanatembea hapa hao watoto wanapendana kana kwamba ni watoto wa mtu mmoja na hata mkiangalia huyo msichana watu wengi wanasema ni mtoto wangu lakini si mtoto wangu ni mtoto wa shemeji wangu. So huyu mtoto au watoto wamekuwa mmoja akiwa na birthday party wote lazima waende. Kwa hivyo wakanitafuta wakanikosa. Wakatafuta mjomba yao na mjomba yao alikuwa mbali. So mjomba yao alipokuja jioni ujumbe wa kwanza aliwasilisha kwa solo. Kasema solo jeidi na amekuwa ikipiga simu ati kuna suji sherehe yenu wapi? Na mtoto akakaa akakaa amechangamka. Ilipofika asubuhi akakataa kwenda kanisa akasema mimi naenda birthday. Na mimi nikamwambia mimi naenda kanisa ni wenda akasema mimi naenda na wewe. Tukatoka na yeye ile pikipiki ilinipeleka ikampeleka ikamdrop. Ibada iliisha mapema tukarudi nyumbani. Nilipofika tu kwa nyumba shemeji wangu Steve akaniambia niko na mgeni wako hapa. Amekaa tangu asubuhi. Nikamuuliza nikamuuliza mgeni yupi atutamuona tu. Nikamwambia yaambia aje ingejapokuwa nilikuwa na mahali pa kwenda kumbe ilikuwa ni mama yake Auntie Phyllis. Auntie Phyllis akakuja akanipata nimekaa kwa nyumba. Ndiyo nimetoa tu mavazi nimekaa kwa nyumba. Nikamwambia auntie karibu kwa nyumba akasema pana, tukae tu hapa kwa maembe. Tukakaa hapo tukakunywa na auntie chai, tukakula viazi, hata tukua na haja tena ya kupika lunch. Tukaendelea kupiga story hapo nje. Kidogo simu ya auntie Helen ikawa inaitana. Kaona nikaangalia simu hivi ah auntie Helen mimi kupik simu hakuna mtu aliongea mpaka nikaamua kuita Jojo kwa sababu huyu mtoto wakati wowote akiniona ni kama ni ameona mama yake hakuna mtu anazungumza nikakata nikapiga mimi kupiga ndio msichana Joy ananiambia ni Joy niko na solo hapo hospitali na niliposikia solo nikasikia nduru from the background kamuuliza ni nini roho yangu ikashtuka akasema solo alikuwa anacheza akaumia mkono sasa tukapa malakisi na wamesema apelekwe Bungoma. Nilichanganyikiwa, nikarudi kwa nyumba, mara naitisha hii, naitisha hii. Mwishowe tukatoka na Aunt Phyllis, tukaenda. Tulipofika malakisi kweli tulipata mtoto analia, mkono imeachana. Na yule daktari akaniambia tutamdunga tu pain kila kisha muende mfanye x-ray, kisha daktari atawaeleza cha kufanya. Nikatoka hospitali na mtoto baada ya kudungwa pain killer tukakuja kwa barabara nikakutana na Titus nikamwambia Titus nipeleke Bungoma Titus hakupigana hakupingana panda pikipiki tukaenda fika Bungoma mtoto akapigwa x-ray na huyo daktari akaniambia mimi ni physician wacha nipigie orthopedic doctor nisikie atasema nini na akamtumia hiyo picha alipotuma huyo daktari alituma message kama image ilikuwa ni sehemu ya mkono imevunjika na ameweka alama ya chuma ndio huyo daktari akaniambia hii image yenye daktari ametuma inamaanisha mtoto atafanyiwa surgery awekewe chuma ili kurudisha hizo mifupa into place mimi nikamwambia mimi siko tayari kwa operation naye akasema sasa mimi kazi yangu ni kuexamine mgonjwa na kutuma wewe kwa the appropriate doctor kwa hivyo mimi nimefanya yangu daktari mhusika ndio mwenye amefanya nini amesema Kaniambia kama unaweza ongea na huyo daktari kesho anapokuja then well and good But nikaona kupingana naye na mtu anaumia nikajipa moyo nikasema so long as mtoto wangu afanye nini apone kwa sababu alikuwa ananiambia hiyo chuma inatolewa in three weeks time 
So wakaanza process ya admission, tukaenda kwa ward, nikaambiwa ikifika saa sita nisimpe mtoto chakula kwa sababu operation itafanyika asubuhi sana. <coughs> ah, tukalala lakini Solal alikuwa in pain. Alikuwa anapewa tu pain kila anatulia kidogo hivyo mpaka asubuhi. Saa kumi na mbili na dakika arobaine uh, daktari muhusika mwenye alikuwa na tuanda akakuja uh, akatuchukua akatupeleka kwa theater hapo preparation room na mtoto akawa na zile nguo za ward tulipofika huko wakamtoa hizo nguo za ward wakamvalisha nguo ya theater tukakaa na mtoto hapo hadi saa mbili daktari akawasili saa mbili akajiintroduce akaniambia mimi naitwa dr Vincent Magero mimi ndio nilibukiwa kufanyia mtoto wako operation. Kwa hivyo nataka niandae theater na madaktari kisha twende tufanye hiyo kazi. Akaenda then after almost 20 to 25 minutes daktari mwenye alikuja kuchukua mtoto akakuja akamchukua. Na mtoto wangu akatembea mwenyewe akiwa amevaa ile nguo ya theater, wakaenda theater. Na mimi nikabeba zile nguo za ward, nikaambiwa nirudi kwa ward karudi kwa wodi nikakaa nikijua tu mtoto wangu atatoka akiwa hai nilikaa pale kwa sababu daktari aliniambia hiyo operation itachukua 3 to 4 hours nikakaa nikatulia for 3 hours but roho yangu ikawa ime imeanza kushtuka nikaamua kurudi pale niliporudi huko lile yule watchman mwenye wana kuwa hapo kwa mlango ya theater akasema ah bado nikamwambia basi muniruhusu tu nimuone akasema uwezi ona mtu akiwa theater nikarudi ward hata sikumaliza dakika kumi. nikarudi tena huko juu niliporudi huko juu huyo watchman akaona kweli ninasumbuka akaniambia kaa hapo kwa bench nilipokaa hapo kidogo hakuna daktari anatoka nikateremka tena captain akanipigia simu akiniulizia niko wapi tukakutana na captain kwa corridor na nikamwambia kapteni mtoto baada hajatoka na kapteni akasema kuwa na imani wacha tuombe tu hapa kapteni akaomba akamaliza na kapteni alipoteremka kurudi kutoka nje na mimi nikarudi tena pale kwa mlango niliporudi tu kidogo nikaona nasi anatokezea na nikauliza huyo nasi naweza ona mtoto akaniambia pana ngoja niulize daktari akarudi ndani kidogo daktari akakuja akasema unaweza kuja kuona mtoto Nilipoingia huko nikapata mtoto amerudishwa kwa preparation room but yako kwa oxygen. Na hata hiyo kupumua haikuwa kupumua mzuri. Kidogo si kuona tena huyo daktari Vincent Magero but kuna mwingine tu muuguzi alikuja. Akasema ah hii kupumua si mzuri. Akaambia hawa nurses hii ka penye mmewekea huyu mtoto si mzuri napitiza hewa. Mumubadilishie wanajua wenyewe kwa hiyo lugha yao kuna wengine iko na kakaratasi kama sak nyuma ndio takabadilishiwa after almost 10 minutes huyo daktari tena akakuja akaangalia akasema ah hata hii haisaidii huu mtoto hii kupumua si mzuri kwa hivyo wacha turudishe huu mtoto kwa HDU pale ndani kwa theater ambapo uwezi kwenda kumu, kumuangalia waenda wakakaa that was around saa saba. saa sita saa saba kaka huko saa saba, saa nane, saa tisa, hakuna nikaanza kukuwa ni easy ilipofika saa kubwa baba yake pia akawa amefika nikamwambia wamesema hatutaweza kuona mtoto atoke but nikakuwa tu ni easy nikarudi pale kwa waiting room sasa tena sikufata sheria kwamba hakuna kuingia nilijilazimisha tu kukaa hapo kwa preparation room nikakaa hapo lakini hao madaktari vile walikuwa na behave mtu anakuja na kuangalia lakini macho yake nataka kuhepa yako hataki macho yako ikutane na yake hata hao wauguzi wote hao manases wote ukimuuliza kitu anakuignore so nikajijazia kwamba lazima kuna kitu kibaya kufika saa kumi, emotions zangu zikapanda mpaka hata nikaanza kulia nikawaambia hata ikiwa mtoto wangu amekufa munipe tu ni muone Niridhike kwamba amefanya nini? Amekufa. But hakuna mwenye alinisikiza. Baba yake naye akakuja hapo kwa preparation room, tukakaa hapo, tukakaa, natoka nje kidogo ninarudi. Saa 12 ilipofika, 
nikasisitiza tena munipe mtoto nione from saa 12 asubuhi mpaka saa 12 jioni hakuna dalili ya mtoto kuamka so mimi nika si but wakatuambia karibu tunaandaa mtoto kupeleka kwa ICU kwa hivyo mtateremka huko lakini hatukutoka kuna daktari saa akuja akatuambia mteremke chini tunatoa mtoto na aliposema hivyo sisi tukatoka tu kwa theater kwa hiyo preparation room tukatoka tu hapo tukasimama hapo kwa corridor tukijua mtoto atapitizwa hapo wakiteremsha kumbe haikuwa hivyo wako na mlango yao huko ndani wanapita mpaka kwa ICU na tulipoendelea kusimama hapo kuna daktari alitoka ndani akatuambia mtoto ashafika wapi ICU tukateremka chini Tulipotaka kuingia daktari akatuambia mngoje kwanza mtoto alikuwa bado anawekewa hizo machines tukaingia ndani tukaruhusiwa kuingia na tuliporuhusiwa kuingia huyo daktari akatuuliza uh, kama kuna daktari yeyote ametupatia any update tukamwambia kuna mtu ametuambia chochote ndiye akasema nataka kuwapatia update ya mtoto na si ni usi mzuri hali ya mtoto ni mbaya na siwezi kuambia kwamba ako ina critical condition mtoto ako ina very critical condition ambapo maisha yake iko 50-50 either aishi au akufe nilivunjika moyo nikaanza kulia lakini mwalimu akanitia moyo nikakuwa strong tena daktari akatuambia kwamba ilipofika saa kumi, saa kumi na moja hapo hati ya mtoto ili stop wakajaribu kurisustate akarudi akasema mtoto iligunduliwa kwamba damu yake iko na high acidity sasa tukaanza kuulizana high acidity imeletwa na nini na mtoto kabla haende kwa tieta alikuwa amepimwa magonjwa mengine yote ilikuwa negative wakatuambia mtoto ako na congestion kwa kifua ambapo hatujui congestion hiyo ilito, ilitokana na nini So tukajitia tu moyo kwamba mtoto atafanya nini? Atapoa. Lakini daktari huyu akarecommend kwamba mtoto apelekwe X-ray kuangalie kifua waone kama kuna shida yeyote. Mtoto alipelekwa X-ray na huko wakatuambia huyo daktari pia hakuwa sure akasema tu there are some traces of pneumonia. So tukarudisha mtoto tukiwa bado na matumaini kwamba mtoto ataishi ndoto alipotoka huko akakuja akatulia mpaka nikaona ta hiyo machine mahali ilikuwa ina, inaandika weak signal weak pulses nikaona inaanza kuweka strong na hiyo au oxygen absorption nikaona ina ina read 92 95 na mtoto akawa sasa naanza hata uh, ukishika mkono hapa ukishika mahali pulses iko unaona tu the pulses are there na mtoto akawa tu ni kama amelala usingizi ijapokuwa machine ndio ilikuwa inamsaidia kupumua lakini akawa tu ni kama analala usingizi hakuna tena ile struggle yenye alikuwa nayo but kufika saa nane na dakika chache hivi nikaona huyo daktari na nikaona tena machine imebadilika ime turn from green imerudi to red na pale kwa pulses ninaona imeandikwa no pulses so daktari akakuja akaniambia songesha kiti yako nyuma kidogo because nilikuwa nimeketi next to the bed akaniambia uh, wapi baba ya mtoto nikamwambia yuko hapa nje nikaenda nikamuita nilipoemuita akasema daktari akatuambia hati ya mtoto ime fail ime stop tena tunataka ku resuscitate wakajaribu wakafaulu mtoto akarudi akalala hata mimi sasa nikaawa na nguvu nikasema ah wacha niende nipumuzike kwa sababu for the two days sijakuwa na usingizi na my sister mmoja fani sakawa amebaki because wengine wote walikuwa wamekuja usiku huo lakini wengine wakasema wacha sisi turudi wewe baki na mtoto wao wanapenda kuniita mtoto kwa hivyo fani sakabaki tukakaa na yeye so mimi nikachoka hata sikuambia kwamba naenda kulala nikateremka tu kwa ward nikaenda kulala lakini sikuwa na amani sikupata hata usingizi kila saa tu ninashtuka kidogo tu nikaona Fanis pia amerudi amekuja kulala akasema baridi huko juu imekuwa mingi nimeamua kuja kulala lakini hata ikupita 30 minutes nikaona mwalimu ananipigia simu nikaona tu hapa kunipigia simu hii inaweza kuwa ni nini 
Dota ameamuka ama namna gani? Batro yangu ilishtuka nilipoona hiyo simu. Siku receive nikatoka. Nilipofika kwa mlango ya ICU nikakutana na yeye akitoka ndani lakini alikuwa analia. The only question niliuliza yeye siniambie mtoto wangu amekufa. Hakujibu. Mimi nikaingia tu ndani hata sikufata tena masharti ya kusema unatoa viatu kabla uingie hapo ICU because they are very strict. Na hakuna daktari aliniambia, hakuna mwenye alinizuia. Wote watu nikiingia. <coughs> Nikaenda straight kwa kitanda cha mtoto. Nikapata mtoto wanajaribu kumresuscitate. Na sasa hiyo resuscitation ikawa ni ile si ile ya kwanza yenye niliona. Ilikuwa ni ile manual na ni vigorous. Wanafinya mtoto mpaka hata kitanda inaruka. Nikaambia wa daktari hata ikiwa ni kufa nimekubali mtoto wangu akufe mumwachilie sasa. Na mimi nikawa nimekasirika nikarudi ukapo karibu na meza yao. Kidogo daktari mwenye alikuwa anamfanyia hiyo resuscitation naye akakuja. Hakusema kitu, akakaa tu chini akajishika kichwa. Nikajua tu mtoto ameshaenda. Na wale madaktari wengine wakawa mezingira ya kitanda, hakuna mwenye anazungumza, wanaangalia tu mtoto. Nikaamka tu hapo nikaenda kwa kitanda, nikaangalia mtoto Nikaona kupumua mashini hiyo tu inaonyesha mtoto anafanya nini? Anapumua. Lakini pale hiyo oxygen absorption imeandika XX. Hapo kwa pulses imeandika no pulse. Kila kitu sasa ikawa ni X. Temperature X. Siji nini X? Yote zimeandika X. Nikajua tu mtoto wangu ameshaenda. Hiyo daktari akarudi akaniuliza baba ya mtoto alienda nikamwambia yuko nje. Kaniambia muite. Nilipokuwa natoka nje kuita mwalimu pia yeye akawa anarudi ndani. Ndio daktari akatuambia tumejaribu lakini mtoto hajawezeshwa kuishi, mtoto ameenda. Nilifadhaika moyoni nililia. Nikakata mengi. Nikajuta. bati yote namwachia Mungu kwa sababu hajaninyang'anya wote Ijapo kuwa ameenda kwa njia ya utatanishi lakini namtumainia ya kwamba siku moja nitapata amani kwa sababu hao wengine pia bado wanatutegemea na tukisema tunaendelea kulia sana inamaanisha tawa hawatasimama lazima tu tujitie nguvu kwa sababu life has to continue labda baba yake atamalizia kwa upande wa postmortem kwa sababu tuliamua kama familia tufanye postmortem tujue exactly what killed solo asanteni kwa kunisikiliza kuwa mgumu asante asante sana Mama ya Solo Juzi nilikuwa nasema Mama ya Solo ni mtoto wa mama mkwe wangu <coughs> Kumaanisha kwamba ni mke wangu Si ndio Na nashukuru Kuna mwanasiasa alikuwa anasema aliingia kwa uwanja akaangalia watu wamefika akasema ala la 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 Mmekuja Mpo asanteni sana. E, yale tunapitia ni magumu tuta nitaenda nikipita pita kwa sababu mara mingi mama nje anakaa na watoto. Lakini jukumu langu sasa yenye imebaki ni kupeana direction. Huyo kijana mara ya kwanza watu wameongea jiwa jina kulikuwa mzee Luta idewa alikuwa kijana wa Osiroma mke. Osiroma mke alikuwa kijana wa Imwen loko Jakapel. Imwen loko Jakapel alikuwa kijana wa Sokaese. Na historia kuhusu Imwen ilikuwa nzuri. Nikaona at least kuwe na mtoto anaitwa Imwen. Nilikuwa nimepanga nimuitie madaraka Imwen lakini ikawa tumechukua jina 
kwenye Biblia tukamuita Solomon. So he is among others. Na mara nyingi watu wanasema ati hao watoto wanafanana kama ndengu. Sijui kama wanafanana. Eh? Na <clears throat> mimi mliniweka kwa public kwa hivyo kazi yangu bado ni ya public. Na jamaa mmoja alitupatia story kwamba walikuwa wamepanda a light aircraft wanaenda Lake Turkana kufikia kwa airstrip maji ya, kulikuwa na mvua ya mafuriko maji yametapaka yote uwezi kuona runway mahali ambapo hiyo light aircraft nitakana kutua alafu cha ajabu pilot akawauliza hao eh, pas, anauliza passengers mnaona tunaweza kutua hapa Sasa tutaki kufikia hapo mimi niulize hawa kama bado tunaweza endelea na maisha. Na hata sitaki kuwauliza nyinyi. Na mara nyingi huwa tunakuwa na jokes kwamba mimi jina langu liko kwa national anthem kwa stanza number two. Sisi tukiwa wengi tunasema amke ni ndugu zenu. nitawatumikia nitawashughulikia mambo mengine ambayo yamesemwa tunaendelea nayo lakini kesi kama hii ni kesi ya ajabu ni kama unajua mara nyingi tunaenda hospitali ili kuchelewesha kifo lakini ni mbaya sana unaenda hospitali ndio unaharakisha kifo inakuwa mbaya sana ni kama mtu ambaye amezoea kufungua soda kutumia meno alafu ndizi mbogo ya inavunja meno yake hivi gumu sana na ni mambo ya ajabu na labda kwa viongozi wetu ama kwa sisi pia tujue kutofautisha uongozi na utawala hapo njoo watu wa busia nafikiri baada tujajua tofauti ya uongozi na utawala kwamba Jesus alikufa 36 AD 2000 years later watu wa Busia bado tunaenda kutafuta plaster bungoma na hakuna mahali kwa Biblia nimeona ati Mungu alilaani Busia sijawahi kusoma mahali kama hapo sasa ninashangaa tuko na jukumu la kubadilisha vitu Tusiwe tu vile tuko hivi. Ni aibu. Hii ni kifo ya aibu. Na kitu na wanasema kitu inaweza kukufurika tu. Kwamba hao jamaa wali keep Jeremia amke luta busy tu usiku yote mpaka asubuhi. Haiwezekana ngi. Lakini usijui walifaulu waje. So tunasema kuna vitu inaitwa kifumba macho. Hey, imekuwa hivyo na tukasema hatuwezi ku replace huyu kijana lakini tutachukua hatua ndio kwa maana tukatafuta DCI tukaenda pale tukafanya postmortem wakakubali na wote wakakubali huyo daktari ni sawa huyo pathologist DCI pia akasema kama ni huyo ni sawa Hospitali pia ikasema ni sawa. Basi tukaenda akafanya upasuaji akatuambia pulmonary edema. Sasa unajua hiyo maneno kwa lugha rahisi maji imejaa kwa kwa lungs. Lungs ni mapafu. E, ni vizuri kunikumbusha. Sasa maji imejaa and nini inaweza sababisha? Wakasema huyu mtoto alidungwa anesthesia mingi sasa hiyo ndio tunasema anesthetic complication sasa wezi kuandika pale ati excess 
sijui kwa nini wana hepa hiyo so ikawa complication ya aina hiyo na mtu mwingine akaniambia kwamba siku hizi kama ni hapo tu inadungwa hapo pekee njo inakuwa na e, inakufa alafu huku kwingine kuko tu sawa ati hata kwa mdomo pande moja inaweza kufa na pande nyingine iko sawa sasa hii maneno ndio vile iko na tuombeane mazuri tuombeane utulivu ili tuwe na nafasi ya kuendelea na maisha na nafasi kuwasaidia wengine huyu akisha mtoto ameaga tumekubali ndio kwa maana tuliamua kuchimba kaburi pale so hiyo ni ndio mahali tuko lakini bado huduma tutapeana kwa community kama ni ile ilikuwa inaenda kwake na sasa alikuwa anaonyesha kwamba ana haja sana kusaidia sitachelewa ukiniuliza kama tunaweza kutoa usaidizi kwako ama kwa jamii yako najua kuna watu wanaogopa wakiona Jeremia Luta anatoka huko wanasema hii jamani kali sana tunaongea kitu duniani ya maana ni kuelewa elewa m, mtu elewa situation elewa mtu tunaongea tunasaidiana that is the only way we can build this place this is the only way we can assist one another uh, kwa kumalizia uh, mtu alikuwa ananiambia Ecclesiastes 9:5 mtasoma tu baadaye eh. na akasema kwa nini watu hulia wakasema watu ambao wako hai wanalia kwa sababu walikuwa natarajia labda kuna kitu marehemu angemwambia au labda kuna hit kitu yeye angeambia marehemu ama kuna kitu angempatia marehemu au kuna kitu alikuwa anatarajia kutoka kwa marehemu lakini sasa ameona kwamba haitafanyika tena otherwise nasema asanteni sana Mungu na wabariki Ah sante huo ulikuwa ni alikuwa ni wazazi wake muonda ule dukuduku na ile wasiwasi the summit senye ilikuwa pale kwa hivyo ukitoka hapa you have a clear picture of what happened i don't want there was a speculation kwamba ati mtoto alianguka kutoka mtini haikuwa juu ya mti walikuwa wanacheza nini mpira so hiyo myth ya kusema kwamba alipanda juu ya mti akaanguka haikuwa pale so go with the right information we as a family we are talking we know what the cause was the next cause of action otherwise takuchukua wakati huu nialike kanisa chukue program alafu ananaje atakao salia captain natawaleta sante kanisa Asante kwa vipindi ambavyo vimepita. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Asante sana. Ni wakati wa kanisa na nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kumkaribisha mama Amwait, kapten wetu. Karibu mama. Asante. Kama uko hai unaweza kuniona Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. A viongozi wetu wakiwema maafisa wenzangu majemedari walimu familia ya mpendwa solo wanafunzi marafiki na waombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina la Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe A, kabla sijaendelea sana tuko mahali hapa na tuko na madhehebu tofauti tofauti ningewaita 
wachungaji, wahubiri, wenzangu wa makanisa mengine wasimame mahali walipo. Mhubiri wa kanisa lolote umekuja kuomboleza pamoja nasi. Karibu sana. Kwa niaba yao waweze kupunga mkono alafu tupate ndugu aweza kusema jambo. Asanteni kuja kuomboleza pamoja nasi. Kanisa takatifu ambaye iko mbele yetu, waombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina yangu ni Pastor Joel Maidoi, kanisa ni la Presbyterian kwa sasa nachunga town Malaba. Kwa niaba ya wachungaji na wakristo tunasema kanisa asante kwa kutupa nafasi ili tuseme pole kwa familia. Nasema Mungu awatie moyo. Asante. Asante. Uh, nafasi nataka kuwaita wakina wokovu wa vikao vyo vyote vile askari wa jeshi la wokovu mahali mlipo tuamke juu tumpungie mtoto wetu Burian. Askari wa jeshi la wokovu. Mahali popote ambapo tuko. Asanteni. Asanteni kwa sababu ya kuja kuomboleza pamoja nasi. Ah, najua Solomon amekuwa askari kijana na kuna viongozi wa vijana wa kikao cha Kolanya. Jongeeni hapa karibu mseme jambo kisha tupate kuendelea. Youth leaders wa kikao cha Kolanya. Maana nyinyi ndiyo mmekuwa na yeye kwa ukaribu na mkitenda kazi kwa pamoja. Mtasema majina kisha YPSM atakuja na nitamuomba assistant sergeant major Bram elekea ndio amekuwa YP wake kwa muda mrefu. Yeye ndio ako na ushuhuda solo kwa wingi sivyo? Alafu kisha madam Sara atamalizia. Cement majina please. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Kwa majina ni Priscilla Mamai na simama kama YP treasurer. Mpate kubarikiwa. Bwana asifiwe ni Angelini Mwene, assistant YP. Praise God. Naitwa Baraza Robert, nikiwa assistant YP. Message yangu iko hapo kwa program. Ukiangalia tribute, hiyo ndio maneno ambayo nimesema juu ya solo. Mbarikiwe zaidi. Praise God. Odeke Wycliffe, YP recorder jitazidi kumkumbuka solo kwa wimbo wake ambao alikuwa anampenda anaupenda sana kameshika kangoma kameshika akifunza wengine tutausikia wao wimbo YP takatu wakati utawekwa wao wimbo tusimame tu kwa heshima zake solo Mama Mama wimbo ya solo yeye alikuwa anaongoza wengine wakidance vizuri sana. Asante, kwa majina naitwa Ekea Bramwell, assistant course sergeant major. Na ilikuwa tu ni one I'm now one week, two weeks old. Kwa hiyo kitengo hapo mwanzo nilikuwa YP wa solo na mara kwa mara solo hakuwa anakosa Sunday school kwa kila jambo alikuwa anahusika hata uki e, wazazi wake wakimpa shukran au sadaka kuleta ilikuwa inafika vizuri sio kama wengine wenye wanapita kwa duka wana change 20 bob wananua bolgam wengine wanatafuna sijui nini wana meza inawanyonga lakini solo was not such a person He was very kind pia kupitia kwa hiyo sadaka ya solo ndio maana unaona hii keyboard mpya imesimama hapa leo In fact this is the first celebration 
hii keyboard mpya imehusika pakubwa sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kumaanisha solo alikuwa anajipanga. Ameipanga na ikafika jinsi ilivyo hivi. Kwa hivyo kwa wazazi wa solo ninajua kwamba Mungu atawatia nguvu jinsi nilivyosema jana katika Waibrania 13:8. Mungu wa jana atabaki kuwa leo na atabaki kuwa hata na milele Mungu wenu tegemeni Bwana na Bwana atawafunika na atawaongoza katika kila hatua. Mungu natubariki sisi wote. Kanisa, familia na wote ambao wamekuja kuomboleza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Kwa majina ni Sara Kibu, Kiboi, mimi ndio waipi mwalimu wa solo ambaye amelala hapo. Nitasoma tu maisha ya solo dedication kanisani. Solomon Imwene Amke was dedicated on 18th August 2013 by Cadet Sol Yabunga. His crocodile number was 370 at Kolanya Salvation Army Church, junior soldier. In the year 2022 April 24th, he was sworn in as a junior soldier by Captain Joseph Baraka. His crocodile number was number 1139. Nambarikiwe. Asante huo ndio ushuhuda wa Solomon kanisani yeye aliwekwa wakifu na akajibidisha ili ya kwamba apite katika class cha askari vijana ndiposa tulimpokea mwaka jana Aa, kwa nafasi hii mniruhusu niwalete maafisa walioko mahali hapa wakiwemo candidates wetu ili waje watusalimu karibuni viongozi Mnajua vile tunajipanga tunaanza chini tukienda juu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina ni candidate Kundu Victor na hudumu pale Malakisi. Mungu akawabariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Yes, kwa majina naitwa candidate James Mkolwe Salvation Army Watama. Mungu awabariki sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunamshukuru Mungu wakati huu wa siku hii ya leo kwa sababu yote yanafanyika na ni kwa ajili ya mapenzi yake. Lieutenant Isaac Kawanjala, afisa wa kikao cha Angaro, pia ni chaplain katika Angaro Primary SA. Mungu awabariki sana. Napenda nichukue nafasi hii niwalike administrator wetu wa hospitali uh, ambao uh, meja Imwene ataweza kutuletea wale wageni wengine viongozi wetu ambao Mungu amependa tushiriki nao siku ya leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama unaniona inua mkono wako juu Bwana Yesu napewa sifa. Naitwa Meja Judith Mwene. Jina nzuri sana jina ya kifalme. Na ukiona umeitua jina kama hiyo you are a leader. And I believe I'm a leader. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Basi ningependa kuleta wahubiri Nitaleta kwanza mwenzangu ninayofanya kazi pamoja naye Meja Kemboi karibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Nafurahi e, mchana wa leo kwa sababu Biblia inaniambia ya kwamba mwanadamu aliyesaliwa na mwanamke siku zake za kuishi sio nyingi Ndiposa leo tuko mahali hapa naambia rafiki zangu assistant omlik na mume wake poleni sana Mungu atawatia nguvu Mungu analeta nguvu mpya haleluya tunawapenda na tunawaombea Asante kwa kunikaribisha meja mimi naitwa meja Caroline Kemboi assistant administrator Asante sana meja tunatuanga kazi hapo pole pole ndani e, ukikuja kuangalia itakuwa ni mzuri kazi nzuri 
kwa hivyo vile wenzetu walivyotangulia kuongea kwamba even if today you, they will bring an x-ray we have a room to put Mwalimu if you come there and you campaign outside there wakisema hata leo wanaleta x-ray machine or an ultrasound machine we have a space Pengine ujaingia huko ndani we have a very big house on we have very many things coming in and it is just by the grace of the lord it's not me but the grace of god is working so we believe that wale wanaohusika na sehemu hii hiyo hospitali ni yenu na mnaweza fanya zaidi watu wa nje wasitufanyie zaidi lakini hata nasi wenyewe tufanye na tukipewa nafasi fanyeni kitu ya muhimu mungu anatubarikia sana kwa hivyo nafasi hii naleta social secretary akuje pia tusalimie karibu meja Yes Elohim basha mahi sehila hatuna sana kwa sababu ya nafasi hii waubiri pamoja na administrator nataka kusema Mungu yumwema vijana wangu ya kwamba Mungu atawatia nguvu mimi kwa majina naitwa Meja Phyllis Olita ningekuwa hapa na Olita lakini kwa sababu ya kazi yeye yuko kule Kakamega ninafanya kule headquarter kama social secretary pamoja na sponsorship secretary na tukasema ya kwamba ni vyema at least mmoja wetu awe around sababu huyu mtoto ni mjukuu so nilikuja kirasmi kama mjukuu siku ya leo kuona ya kwamba ni ya ukweli tulipopata habari na sasa pengine moyo at least napata amani kuona mapenzi ya Mungu imetendeka nasema ya kwamba Mungu atie vijana wetu nguvu na kanisa pamoja tukijua ni mpango wake asante kwa sababu ya wote ambao wamekuja kukaa pamoja nasi Mungu na tutie nguvu wote thank you very much Bwana Yesu napewe sifa. Tunashukuru kwa kila jambo ambayo anatutenda. Kwa hivyo Mama Slesa na mume wako, jipeni moyo. We are just like a wind. Today tuko, kesho hatuko. Begini ya kijarolo kangaliuka na jokna. Lakini dakika ni dis mamio kiji. Lakini naka subana lope na kijiunio, ijine saa loijaria yo anajene saa le nyararayo kwa hivyo tujipe moyo katika kila hali nafasi hii nataka kumleta najua sisi tunakuanga tukienda najua ataongea mambo ya levo yake lakini niko karibu hapo tu alikuweko na sisi wakati mwingine nikamsongesha na akasonga kwingine kwa hivyo ataongea mambo ya juu si ni kweli maana the district officer si mchezo ni mtu mkubwa hawezi ongea mambo hii ya chini ni ile kutuelekeza kwa Mungu na kutupa tumaini na kujua kile ambacho sisi kama wanadamu tunafaa tufanye kwa hivyo namleta district officer Chabuhiga aje pia atusalimie karibu yes, Yogasi Atamai Yesu Asante nataka kushukuru tu sana Mungu sana kwa kunipatia nafasi ya kuja nyumbani. Si huku ni nyumbani. Miaka nane nimeishi Kolanya kulikuwa kwetu. Hata watoto wangu wananiambia kwetu ni Kolanya. Tutaenda lini kwetu. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana pia kwa kunikaribisha siku ya leo Salesa Jeremiah I just want to say so sorry so sorry for this loss the memory of Solo and Edgar their love is what pulled me to come today the last day today it was on 4th around uh, 6:37 They came into my house. 
Edgar wants to be a pastor. And uh, Solo was carrying a gift for me. So when they came, nikasema tucheze kidogo ile nyimbo ya kwikwetu huko akinipatia zawadi he danced i also did na akanipatia zawadi sijawahi tupa i treasure it bwana yesu asifiwe sana so this beautiful little soul lying there it was god's will god's will is so painful and it's hard to accept just as you may say bye bye to your own child your wife your mother whoever your sweet person telling bye bye just a normal bye bye it has never been sweet it is always painful you go looking back bye bye you go again two steps bye bye again three steps bye bye they will go and come back but now solo is in god's hands let's pray for the family to be strong the lord is with you assistant homelik secretary jeremiah mungu atawasimamisha heri wafao katika bwana maana watapumzika katika mikono mwake mwenyezi mungu mungu na barikia kanisa la solo Mungu abarikie wazazi wake. Mungu abarikie community yetu ya Kolanya. Asante. Asante. Sijui kama kuna mchungaji mwingine. Nilitembea na mtu wa mkono. Simama tu. Tafadhali. This is my able Simama hapa. This is my able co sergeant major wa kikao cha cha viga ko. Asante. Sante ungeenda ungepewa mambo mazuri. Kwa hivyo sidhani kama kuna mchungaji mwingine wa salvation nami na wameisha. Lakini mama Selesa kumbuka kwamba Mungu alikupa na mwishowe amechukua. And I always say God takes the best. May God bless us all. Asante. Ah, uh, wakati huu sasa mniruhusu niseme machache kwa ajili ya jamii hii. Uh, jamii ya mwalimu Jeremiah pamoja na Madam Slensa wamekuwa kama marafiki kwetu. Tulipoingia mahali hapa tuko na watoto wanne. Na hao watoto wameingiana sana na watoto wa mwalimu pamoja na Madam. Na wamekuwa marafiki na tumechangamana tukashirikiana kwa mambo mengi. Jamii hii ni moja wapo wa jamii ambapo tunajivunia pale kanisani ni nguzo katika kikao chetu cha Kolanya. Na pigo kama hili mimi binafsi limenifanya nikawa over emotional. Hasa nilipofika kule Bungoma nilishindwa kujizuia. Huwa nakuwa mgumu lakini siku hiyo solo ameniingia nikalemewa nika, nikakosa nguvu nikakosa tumaini. Na nataka kuambia mwalimu na madam wakina Martha, Juliet, Edgar and Franklin ya kwamba kwa niaba ya watoto wetu Albright, Precious, Yat, Extembo na kazini yao Claire wametuma rambi rambi zao. Najua kuna wakati wakirudi kutoka shuleni watakuja kuwatembelea. Ah ninaposimama hapa nakumbuka solo nikienda pale Kolanya Boys Primary kabla hatujawatoa neno na wazo la kuwa encourage pale shuleni amekoa moja wapo pamoja na ndugu yake Edgar katika mstari wa scouts maana Friday lazima tuweke bendera juu na wanakuwa mahali pale wakikomand gwaride ya scouts na ni mmoja wa watoto ambao tumekuwa tukijivunia Tumempoteza. Tuombe shule yetu ya Kolanya Boys nikikumbuka mwaka huu tumewapoteza wavulana wawili kutoka shule hiyo. Wawili wakiwa askari vijana. Na hata nilipoangalia katika soldiers roll yule mwingine na solo walikuwa wanafuatana. 
Kwa hivyo mnapoomba kwa ajili ya jamii hii, tuombe pia shule yetu ya wavulana ya msingi ya Kolanya kwa sababu ni pigo kubwa kwa mwaka huu. Ah, nikirudi kanisani Solo ni mmoja wa wale wachezaji wana denzi. Na Solo akicheza unafurahia. Solo akicheza unabarikiwa. Tumempoteza. Lakini tumeachilia roho ya Solomon ikalale mahali pema. Sisi tutaendelea kushirikiana na jamii hii. Tutaendelea kuwaombea. Lakini mfariji mwema ni Mungu. Chukueni Mungu muweke katikati ya mioyo yenu. Yeye ndiye anayeweza kutoa uchungu huo. Maana kiatu hicho kukivaa wapendwa, wale tumekivaa ni kichungu. Tuombe jamii hii na tuachilie mtoto wetu mchanga akalale kwa amani. Kwa hivyo ndiposa leo hii tuko mahali hapa kumsindikisha askari wetu kijana. Tutampa heshima zake kama askari kijana. Si Mungu na atubariki wote. Naitwa Toto Amoit. Mbarikiwe. Karibu Jakaiti. Yogao Siker. Asante. Nataka niwaombe msimame. Nataka tumwimbie solo. Na ninataka nilete neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu vile ufunuo ulishuka kutoka kwa baba tusimame sisi sote mahali tulipo bwana ka chap chap najua captain ni mtu chap chap pana mtu rega rega tunataka tumuimbie mungu kumshukuru kwa ajili ya maisha ya solo miaka kumi. baadaye nitachukua dakika chache kuleta neno lake Mungu tutatoa faraja zetu na tutaenda kwa kile kipindi cha mwisho ukiwa hai kama ni kufanya vitu fanya vitu kwa tika njia inayompendeza Mungu kwa hivyo nataka uinue mikono yako juu inua mikono yako juu yote miwili mahali popote ulipo tunapoenda mbele zake Mungu kumsifu na kumshukuru kwa ajili ya uwepo wake katika maisha yetu tuende kazi DJ haya piga hiyo magofi yako Oh, I'm a 
Breaking generational curses. That is my topic. Breaking ge breaking what? Generational curses. That is the revelation. Kizazi chatatu na kizazi cha ine. Kimekuwa affected pakubwa sana na generational altars. Kizazi cha tatu na cha ine kinaguzwa pakubwa na vizazi hivi vya tatu na ine. Utafiti unasema ya kwamba Kizazi cha tatu Iyo miaka Ya 1965-1971 Hicho ni kizazi ambacho kimeishi Na ambacho Kimepitia katika shida Kutokana na vizazi vilivyo tangulia The fourth generation Between 1971 1980 Nandi wa maisha haya ya naendelea Iko madabao mabaya Iko madabao ya giza Madabao ambayo Yalipandua na vizazi ambavyo vilitangulia Na tunataka tuwelekezwe Katika maandiko matakatifu kitabu cha kutoka That section us Chapter 34 verse 7 Tunataka tuone mustari huo unatuambia nini Kitabu ni kutoka Mlangu wa 34 mustari ule wa 7 Kwa uwezo wa buwana nitasoma Mwenye kuwaonea huruma watu elf elf Mwenye kusamee uovu na makosa na dhambi Wala si mwenye kuesabia mtu muovu kuwa hana hatia kamwe. Mwenye kuwapatiliza watoto uovu wa baba zao. Na wana wa wana wao pia. Hata kizazi cha tatu na cha nne. Mungu alibariki ya ndiko. Vizazi ambavyo vilitangulia. Viliweza kuwasi. Vizazi vingine vikajenga madabao mabaya. Chukua mfano wa wana wa Israheli Wakiwa safarini kwelekea kule kanani Walipitia katika maisha magumu Walipitia katika hali nzito Wengine wao walipoteza matumaini Kwa sababu ya maisha ambayo yalikuwa ya na wandama. Kama kawaida. Kuna watu ambao wako upande unao hitajika. That's the positive side. Na kuna wale watu ambao kila wakati watapatikana katika negative side. Baadhi ya hawa wa Israheli kuna wale walinamia madabao ya miungu. 
madhabau ambayo waliona ya kwamba yanawafaa hata walifika mahali wakakasirisha Musa hadi kabidi akaweze kupasua kwa ajili ya sira sheria zake Mungu ambazo alipewa na Mungu kuongoza hawa wana Israeli kizazi cha tatu na cha nne tumekumbwa na madhabahu haya kama yale ambayo wana wa Israeli hawa ambao walinamia miungu waliweza kuyabeba na wakakaa ndani kuna wazazi ambao walituzaa walienda miaka hiyo hawakupenda madhabahu ya Ukristo walipenda madhabahu ya giza walipenda madhabahu ya kuwa mauaji walibeba madhabahu ya wivu wakabeba madhabahu ya asira vizazi ambavyo vinakuja kizazi cha tatu na cha nne we are affected nasema baba yangu alikuwa hivi mama yangu alikuwa hivi nyanya yangu alikuwa hivi tumepotea kwa sababu tumechanganywa na ile damu ya vizazi vilivyotangulia kuna vizazi ambavyo vilipenda kupiga vita majirani kuna vizazi ambavyo vilipenda kulaani watoto mpaka kina shangazi wanakuwa affected wewe ni shangazi umezaliwa ukiona mtoto wa ndugu yako hautaki kumuona kama ni mtoto unaanza kulaani yule mtoto na kusema hakuna mahali utakapoenda sio kupenda kwako generational curses walilaaniwa kwa sababu ya yale madhabao maana waliyabeba wakaona haya ndio madhabao waliyabeba wakaona lahana watoto wanapobakiwa katika kijiji katika jamii unaangalia unasema wangelikuwa ni watoto wangu wanabarikiwa lakini sio watoto wa ndugu yangu Wangelikuwa ni watoto wangu kubarikiwa kusoma kuliko watoto wa dada yangu. Generational curse imeingia imepenetrate mpaka pale ndani. Yametubeba that curse imetubeba imetupeleka katika milima ya mauaji imefika mahali ile lahana tuambia ya kwamba watoto wa ndugu zetu watoto wa dada zetu watolewe sadaka ya damu tasubuya watoto wanakufa akina mama wanakufa akina baba wanakufa kutokana na kile kizazi na lahana iliyobebwa na bado inabebwa inasonga mbele kuna mtu kusalimia watu kwa barabara sio shida kutoka Jumatatu mpaka Jumatatu mdomo kwa mwingine umefura haujui anaongea haujui anacheka ama yuko wapi generational curse Kwa nini wewe hautaki kusalimia wenzako? Kwa nini wewe hautaki kujua wenzako ni wanadamu kama wewe? Ni kwa nini wewe hautaki jirani yako abarikiwe? Ni kwa nini wewe hautaki maboma yabadilike? 
ni kwa nini wewe ni uvivu ambao umejaa katika kifua chako na pole mtoto anatoka kule mtoto anafanya vizuri darasani mtoto anafanya vizuri siku zijazo atakuwa mtoto wa mahana mnaanza kuchanganya miguu na kupeleka watoto katika madhabao ya giza ambayo hayastahili generational curse natamka mambo ya giza natamka mambo ya uasi Natamuka mambo ya kuharibu. Maboma zimebomolewa. Maboma zinaangaika. Maboma zinateseka. Wanawake wakai kwa ndoa. Wanaume hawaoya wakai na wanawake. Generational curse. Madhabao yanayotuumiza ni madhabao yaliyochanganyikiwa Madhabao ambayo tumebeba ni ya giza tumejitoa tumetembea kwa njia ambazo hazihitajiki tumechukua maisha yetu tunaona ya kwamba maisha yetu ni kujitafutia utajiri imetufanya tumeingia kwa madhabao ya uganga unapoingia kwa uganga unapoambiwa ni ndugu yako anakuharibu unapoambiwa ni dada yako anakuharibu unasema nitapambana na yeye unarudi nyumbani unaua ndugu yako unarudi nyumbani unaua dada yako kumbe ni kinyume generational curse watu waliishi bila kuonea watoto wa wenzao huruma wamama wanapozaa watoto damu yao inachukuliwa inafungwa hawawezi wakaona watoto tena wamama wawezi wakazaa wamama wawezi wakaendelea tumeingia katika ile nafasi tunafika mahali tunaanza kujichanganya na kumbe sisi tumekosa kuelewa na jinsi ya kusimama ya kwamba kuna lahana ambayo imesimama ambayo inahitajika nafasi ya kuweza kushughulikiwa ili toki. magari yananunuliwa Magari yanafanya ajali kila wakati. Nyumba zinajengwa. Watu hawakai katika nyumba hizo. Madawa, nyanya yangu alikuwa wa madawa. Babu yangu alikuwa na madawa. Alitembea na madawa. Aliinua madawa. Unua unasema ya kwamba hayo madawa ndio yanatuangamiza kwa sababu tumechukua imani tumeweka ndani Biblia inasema nini kuhusu wale ambao hawataki kuishi katika madhabahu haya Ezekiel 18 verse 14 Kitabu ikiwa ni Ezekieli 18 mstari wa 14 inasema kwamba na kama yeye huyo akizaa mwana naye ameona dhambi zote za baba yake alizozitenda akaogopa asifanye neno lolote kama hayo na andiko libarikiwe Vunja madhabao ya kile kizazi Kama ni kwenda mbele fanya nini vunja madhabao ya kile kizazi cha laana kama umepata habari ya kwamba uzao wenu ulikuwa wa laana toka ndani unatoka ndani katika yale madhabao namna gani kutubu na kumtafuta Yesu kila wakati katika maisha yako kutubu ni kwenda mbele kutubu ni kutafuta njia ya msalaba hautatubu ukiwa kwako nyumbani utatubu ukiwa kwake Yesu Kristo kuna yale madhabao ya uchawi yanatusumbua mama unafika mahali unasema mimi nitawahi barikiwa kweli nataka nikuambie Yesu yuko na katika jina la Yesu Kristo unaenda kufanikiwa unaenda kufahuru unaenda kusonga mbele 
you are here uko kazini nafasi yako ambayo umepewa pale kazini haina amani unasumbuliwa unahangaishwa unatafuta usiku na mchana ni wakati wa kukata hayo madhabao na kuambia Mungu ulinipa nafasi hii ninakuita ukanishughulikie na huyo Yesu anaenda kukushughulikia wewe generational curse polygamist families I'm coming to you now because the Holy Spirit is speaking. Muache kutafutana. Muache kutafutana. Mimi ni wa nyumba kubwa, mimi ni wa nyumba ya pili, mimi ni wa nyumba ya tatu, wacha kutafutana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wacha kuona kwa nini mnauana. Wivu inatoka wapi katika ile familia? Wewe mzee umebarikiwa umepata nyumba nne shukuru kwa hizo nyumba na shughuli zote katika nyumba hiyo zitendeke sawa sawa Na hiyo itaenda sawa sawa kama utakataa yale madhabao ya wazazi waliopita waliosema ni mimi wa kusema maneno ya kusema ni mimi wa kusema iliisha Yesu Kristo alishuka kuleta mwangaza kuleta maendeleo hata kama wewe nasema ya kwamba kwetu tulikuwa tunafuga vitu tulikuwa tunafuga nyoka tulikuwa tunafuga vitu tulikuwa tunaweka walikuwa wanafanya ndio nyinyi mbarikiwe tu familia yenu pole pole muue ile familia muue ile familia leteni makaratasi leteni makaratasi vitabu vya watoto hawa leteni tavuteni endeni mulete mpaka hata walimu wameguzwa kalamu ambazo walimu wanatumia zinachukuliwa zinaenda kuwekwa kwa uchawi walimu wanahangaika from nowhere ya mag- gonjwa walimu wanaenda generational curse lazima ukubali kuikataa lazima ukubali Yesu Kristo ashuke na msimamo wake atembee pamoja nawe maisha yatabadilika na tutaweza kuinuliwa Yesu Kristo alikuja kwetu kutuokoa wenye dhambi mimi ni mwenye dhambi mimi sio mkamilifu ndio maana Yesu Kristo alishuka we ambaye ulishika shika usirudi nyuma tuko hapa kusherekea solo maisha ya solo miaka kumi huenda inawezekana ya kwamba yamekuwa affected na generational curse and we are rebuking it in the name of Jesus Christ tunaikataa katika madhabahu haya tunaivunja katika madhabahu haya Tunaivunja katika madhabahu haya. Tunaibomoa katika madhabahu haya. Na wewe mchawi ambaye hautaki kutoka huko. Na wewe mchawi ambaye hautaki kutoka huko. Na wewe mchawi ambaye hautaki kutoka huko. Toka to jamii fulani wanakufa kwa maji, wanakufa kwa kamba, wanakufa kwa dawa, wanakufa kwa theater generational kas na tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mtafute Yesu atembee na wewe na tuko hapa kutangaza Yesu anaweza Yesu ni mwaminifu Yesu ana nguvu Wacheni watoto waendelee wapendwa Wateni watoto wasimame Wacha watu wafanye maendeleo Wacha watu wafanye kazi Wivu inatoka wapi Vunja haya madhabao ili ubarikiwe na wewe uinuliwe na wewe uweze kutakasika. Simama kwa miguu yako. Simama kwa miguu yako. Jesus is inviting you. You are affected. Maana sisi wote we are affected and that's why Jesus came ili atuokoe tutoke ndani. Maana kama kuna yeyote atakataa hiyo damu ya ukoo kama kuna yeyote atakataa njia hizo za ukoo hata umia akitoka ndani familia yake inabarikiwa ukitoka ndani familia yako inoinuliwa ukitoka ndani unatakasika hata shetani akutafute atakupata kwa sababu uko na Yesu unatembea na Yesu na Yesu anakusingira Asante Bwana Jesus 
Tunataka kusema asante kwa wema wako. Asante Yesu. Tunataka kusema asante kwa kila jambo ambalo limetendeka. Asante Bwana. Tunataka kusema asante kwa sauti yako ambayo imepitia mtumishi wako. Asante Yesu. Baba umenena kwa pamoja nasi. Baba umenena kwa kupitia kwa nyimbo. Baba umenena kupitia kwa ushuhuda. Baba umenena kwa sababu ya kijana mtumishi wako ambaye amelala. Baba tunasema jina lako litukuzwe. Kwa sasa tunataka kuweka wazazi wake mikononi mwako. Baba wajua unyonge wao, wajua nguvu zao. 
wajua mioyo yao mahali ambao wameelekea wamebondeka kwa sababu kwa kumpenda mtoto wao wamebondeka kwa sababu wataishi kwa kumkosa yes. baba simama katika pengo lile yes. baba simama katika pengo lile yes. baba tembea na selesa yes. baba tembea na jeremia yes. baba tembea na watoto kwa kutoka kwa mkubwa hadi kwa mdogo yes. kwa sababu wewe ni bwana yes. utendayo baba hakuna ambaye anaweza kusema hapana uwezo na nguvu vyote ni vyako yes. baba tunataka kuomba kwa sababu ya kanisa yes. utawabariki kwa sababu wataishi kwa kukosa mtoto huyo kwa sababu hata wenzake wote wa Sunday school watamkosa yes. baba neema yako ikapate kuwatosha tunataka kushukuru kwa kila mmoja ambaye amekanyeka katika mji huu yes. nayo na ni kwa kuleta faraja yes. baba rudi pamoja na wao kwa njia ya baraka yes. kila mmoja akakutana na baraka ya miujiza jinsi ambavyo utajihusisha katika mji huu tunajua kwamba katika pengo lile wazazi hao watakuwa kiona kusimama kwako pale yes. na kusimama bali pako baba we utakuwa unawaonyesha baraka ya muujiza tenda muujiza katika jamii hii yes. wainue Yesu wainue Yesu tukaone yes. pendo lako likitangaza tunajua kwamba vimebakia vipindi vichache yes. Baba tunakuhitaji. Ndio Yesu. Ongoza tukabarikiwa nawe. Tunakushukuru Yesu. Hata yes. wale watakao gusa huo mwili, yes. baba ikapate kuleta utakaso. Yes. Asante kwa kila jambo. Yes. Asante kwa sauti yako. Asante kwa kunena pamoja nasi. Endelea kutuongoza na kunena nasi. Baba na waombea kila mtu. Mm. Naomba hayo yote katika pendo la Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mwokozi wetu. Amen. 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 madabao yalijengwa ya kwamba sisi hata tusitoe faraja kutoka kwa mifuko yetu tukienda sisi ni kutazama tukienda sisi ni kuangalia kwa macho yetu tumekataa hayo madabao na tunataka tufariji familia hii weka pale ingine weka hapo ingine iende pale tunataka tufariji jamii hii wanaume wote tusimame tuje tufariji Jamii Wanaume peke yao Wanaume peke yao Old man 
kama wewe ni mwanaume bichi za watai umekataa yale matabaa tusisimame na jamii ambazo zinaomboleza tumeyakataa wewe kuja weka mahali pale haya matabao sio yetu yanatumia mabaraka sio yetu yanatumia mabaraka maisha ya kila mmoja. Tuamini. Ewe bwana wa majeshi, tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kipindi hiki. Watu wako wameweza kutoa faraja yao. Jehova ni kwa ajili ya jamii hii. Na neno lako linatupatia matumaini unaposema tunapotoa unaenda kutubariki zaidi. Nataka kudai baraka zako juu ya kila mmoja. Wengine wametoa katika mashamba zao. E bwana wa majeshi anaenda ukabariki mashamba haya. Wengine wametoa katika biashara zao. E bwana wa majeshi anaenda ukabariki biashara hiyo. Kupitia kwa biashara hiyo hata watoto wakasome zaidi. Tunataka kuomba wengine wamepewa na watoto. E bwana wa majeshi anaenda ukabariki watoto hawa. Anaenda ukavunja hata madhabahu Jehova ya umaskini katika maisha yao ili watu wako wakaweze kubarikiwa iwapo kuna yule muovu anapita katikati tunaivunja sasa kila aina ya madhabahu ya umaskini Jehova ya wivu katika matoleo yako katika jina la Yesu yakaweze kushindwa 
Baba achilia roho mtakatifu anaye nende na kabariki wana wako jinsi upendavyo. Asante kwa sababu ya yule baba. Sante kwa ajili ya yule mama. Sante kwa ajili yule kijana. Tunazidi kuomba ya kwamba amani yako inayopita fahamu ya mwanadamu ikae nende pamoja na kila mmoja baba. Nasi tutasema ni asante. Tutakutolea ushuhuda ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye mkombozi wetu. Amen. Asante Bwana. Sifanyike vile nimewaomba na mtupe report administration. Msande sana chief kwa kupata nafasi ya kufika regardless of your tight schedule. <coughs> Santi kanisa kwa hii nafasi viongozi wetu wa kanisa tukiongoza na captain baraka familia viongozi wa alim bila kusahau <coughs> area mca ya ngurai south our chief officer ombolezaji wote kwa jumla Wacha nichukue nafasi ni wasalamie na ningeomba tusalamiane hewani na iwe salamu za mwisho na mwende zake solo jina ni noa imwene eh, area chief kolanya in acting position kwa niaba ya wakazi wa kolanya tunatoa pole zetu kwa familia tukusema ndugu Jerry nasema pole na kwa niaba yao hizo pole zetu nimezileta Ndachukua muda mfupi sana kwa sababu watu wamechoka Ningependa tu kutambua wale tunafanya nao kwa ofisi kwanza ningetambua the village elders na kwa sababu ya muda mtasimama tu wale wako karibu community policing nyumba kumi Najua wako everywhere hapa. Kwa niamba yao tunasema pole. Senior Santi kwa kufika. Uh, pili hapa tu eh, niko na assistant chief Kakemer. Ningekuomba nafasi yako karibu. Na pia ningeomba area chief Rwatama ajongee pia karibu kwa sababu ya muda. <coughs> Santi ndugu Derek. kanisa andalizi la Salvation Army uh, familia iliyofiwa uh, area MCA Angurai South Ward mheshimiwa CE CEC sorry uh, bwana Walunga waombelezaji wote walimu na washukuru amjambo amjambo tena anayezungumza ni Ino Derek mimi ni naibu wa chief pale Kakemer sub location anda cha Masiri location Uh, mwanzo kabisa ningependa kusema pole kwa mwalimu ambaye ni rafiki yangu uh, mfarijike katika Yesu Kristo. Pili ningependa tu kusema hivi, hili ni himizo kwa wazazi wote ambao wako hapa. Kwa sasa hivi tuko hapa na walimu ambao ni wengi sana. Lakini kile kitu ambacho kinatuzuia sasa hivi shuleni kupata capitation ile pesa ambayo eh, serikali inaleta kwa shule kusaidia wanafunzi wetu. Wanafunzi wengi hawana birth certificates. 